Hello, everybody. Hello. I decided to go live. I hardly have time to go live. And I'm having a, a line this morning, which I... Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. I'm having a bit of a line this morning. I just said, let me go live. Um, I'm still in bed, so I'm not going to show my face. But I just said, let me do a quick live because it's going to be a busy day for me today. I hardly have time to go live. So, but I really want to drop this. I believe I have a message for somebody or some people. It's not for everybody, you know. I, I literally just made the post saying, hi guys, if you're here. I feel like there's a message, there's a lesson we can learn from this. Whether you're single or you're married or you're dating, whatever your situation is. If you're joining, I'm sorry, I'm still in bed. So I'm not going to show my face. I'm still in my nightwear, but I have the chance to go live now. If I say I'll go later, I, it will never happen. I, ne I rarely ever have time to go live. So I want to talk about, you know, um, Nancy Umid's uh, marriage advice. Like I said, if you're single, you're married, you whatever your situation, there's so much to learn from this story, right? You know, I'm going to try and see if I can make it as short as possible so it's easier for others to come and watch later. So I watched... Um, a video where Nancy gave an advice. <clears throat> Nancy gave an advice. I think I saw a like. Thank you, whoever gave me the like or love heart. It just went so fast. I didn't see it here. Nancy may give an advice, right? I watched, I, I, I watched that video. And she said that there is one thing, if I'm not mistaken how she said it, but roughly, that one of the things that they, she and her husband have said would never thank you for the likes, like thank you for the love heart. Like they have decided that they would never ever do is no matter how much they fight, no matter how much they argue, they should never call names, as in call each other names. Um, maybe being uh, like abusive. Um, no, in, in Nigeria we say they abuse somebody, but like it's like you know names. Oh, you the crazy, you the mad. Look at you. You're this. You're that. They would never call names. Let me. Let's be honest. That is a very big important thing a lot of people should learn from that you know why guys like i said there is message in this right you know why it's important why it's important is this sometimes husband and wife can quarrel and have a fight you know let me tell you there's no marriage that's perfect you know they argue they have a fight and all of that and they you know and then one week later whatever they make up as if nothing ever happened thank you so much uh lamosa i saw my do sister um uh where's the where's the or or seven i'll be your time uh so uh -huh, let me go to the point right okay when couples fight sometimes it may be they fought in the morning in the evening they settled and they move on but when some harsh 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 insulting names are called at each other you may make up, but those things you call each other may never fade from your minds. And sometimes the things you call each other may, <laughs> the things you call each other becomes the, the thing that makes the fight to last longer. And that is why that advice she gave was so, so big, right? But the reason I want to make this video is that she gave a very good, important advice, right? But I want to ask this question and I want to say this. She has spoken, Nancy spoke about herself and her marriage, the principles and the rules they've laid down between her and her husband that they will never call each other names. She has plans for her marriage. Her and her husband are following those plans. But you see, yeah, it is Nancy's responsibility or she and her husband's responsibility to make the rules and apply it to their own marriage. It is left for you to apply it to yours or not. What am I saying? When I watched that video, when Nancy spoke about the rules they've made in their own marriage, and I sat down and I reflect on Justin and Cora's marriage, and I... I thought to myself, why we saw a video where Justin, listen guys, be patient, where Justin was calling Cora names. We saw that, right? And uh, he called her the W word, uh, what other words? Now I can't remember. Whatever words he called her, right? Now, and we've seen videos where uh, Cora also has some things to say about Justin. So it means that they, Justin and Cora didn't apply that to their own marriage. Nancy applies it to her marriage, her and, and her husband's marriage, right? But at the same time, the same Nancy that said name calling is not allowed in her marriage. But 
you, what I'm saying is this, right? It is left for you as an individual to lay down your own principles in your own marriage and say this is not allowed and enforce it in your own marriage. It's not somebody else's responsibility because Nancy, they uh, uh, enforce that or apply that to their own marriage. But Nancy did not apply that to Cora's marriage. She didn't. Nancy has called Justin names, has called Joss's family names. So the same beautiful, amazing thing that she applies in her marriage, she didn't apply it to her sister's marriage. What is my message here? My message is this. It is left for you as an individual to lay down the, the rules in your own marriage. Don't, don't forget that Nancy said that even when you are quarreling, when you're having a fight with your husband, like they should not, that is what they have said. They cannot call names even when they are having a fight. But when Cora and Justin were having a fight, Nancy called Justin names, called Justin's parents names, Justin's siblings names. That beautiful advice that she implements in her own marriage, she didn't implement it in her, in her sister's marriage. I'm, I've only said it from day one. Justin, from day one, when he decided the marriage was over, he could have just gone. Their se they could have just gone their separate ways. Justin shouldn't have brought it, the, especially the way he brought it. Justin came out, and I would, I would always say it. He caused a lot of the mess. There are better ways to end the marriage without. I don't. So I will never support somebody trying to destroy the other person because the marriage is over. I. This is my opinion. When the marriage was over. Justin came out willing to destroy. Reputation? Uh, well, what else? When he came out and said she did the threesome, she did all of those things he was saying, he shouldn't have done all of that. But Justin did it. Let's be honest, right? But at the same time, I can sit here and tell you this, that Nancy that said that even when they are, she and her husband quarrel, they have already have a, they already have their ground rules never to call each other names. She knows that's a beautiful thing to do. Avoid calling names. Why did she call her sister's husband names when there was a quarrel? So basically, what she applies in her own marriage, she doesn't apply to her sister's marriage. And the blessing that I'm saying is this: you as a person, you are the one that is responsible to put the rules in your own marriage. Because let me tell you, there's a way Cora's marriage, they would have planned, how do I say, there's a way Cora would handle her marriage that her sister would never feel she had the right to insult her husband. Some people may not get this, but some people will. But I'm saying it for those that will get it. It is how you lay down your own marriage that another person will come and handle it. Why am I saying this? I have seen couples that broke up for years and they came back together. I'm not saying Justin and Cora are going to come back together, but nobody knows tomorrow. They may, they may never, right? They may, they, nobody knows. We can come here and say, personally, personally, I wouldn't, I, I don't know, because I feel like two of them are, um, you see, two stubborn people, it, it, it can be very hard for two stubborn people to, to, how do, how, sometimes well, I don't know what for it, it's very hard. Justin is stubborn, Cora is stubborn. Thank you, Jumbo Betty. Thank you. You know, Justin is stubborn, Cora is just uh, Cora is Justin, <laughs> Cora is stubborn. Both of them are stubborn. So I don't even personally, you uh, people like that, I don't know the chances of them coming back together and live in peace. I'm not God, though, but I'm being honest, right? But this video is not about that. This video is about believe it or not, there are people that they know the right thing, but they would apply it to themselves, but they don't apply it to somebody else, right? If anybody wants to come join me, you can actually join me live if you want, you know, it's not going to be a long one, you know, it's not going to be a long one. When I sat down and I thought about it thoroughly, and I saw when Nancy said it, and said, you know, when they already have a ground rule that if they ever have a quarrel, they should never call names to each other and all of that. And she said, oh, we broke it. Oh, yeah, sorry. She said, we broke it. So we went out to go make up or whatever way she phrased it. I, because if I'm not quoting somebody correctly, I would say it like 100% correctly, I would say it. So the same ground rules that they've laid down for their marriage, Nancy did not apply to her sister's marriage. And that is why sometimes... It can, that, how do I even say it? The name calling, she does not apply in her own marriage. The question is, 
I don't know. You guys can answer. Now, actually, let it be more interactive. The way Nancy said, I'm going to ask a question. If you guys have an answer, you can, you're free to, you know, I can read your comments. I can see them, right? This way, the way Nancy said, in her marriage, they have a ground rule or principles that they should never. Okay, let me see. There's a comment there. Let me just ask the question. Oh, wow, it's long ago. Okay, let me ask the question so more people can answer. Then it's not really my opinion. Other people can share their opinion. The way Nancy said, in her marriage, her and her husband, we never call each other names, no matter what. That is their ground rule. But the same Nancy, when Cora had a problem in her marriage, Cora called Justin's husband names. So she has a rule, a principle she knows is amazing. She applies it in her own marriage, but she doesn't apply in her husband's marriage. And then, I mean, in her sister's marriage, she called Justin names. He called Justin's parents names, Justin's siblings names. So the name calling is not good in Nancy's marriage, but it's good in Cora's marriage. You see my point and the main point i'm telling you as someone that's viewing my video right now is this it is you that can protect your own marriage nancy set the standard for her marriage it's left for cora to set for her own marriage uh, as well another question i want to ask another question i want to ask is the same rule nancy is saying they should never call name in a marriage what about can you call names to your in-laws i mean can you call your in-laws in -laws names is that okay as well? Okay, let me just read comment. So it's not just me. Some are some 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 are some sis can keep their home, but would want yours to to are you? I don't know what are you. Oh, ruin. Oh, sorry. I think you meant to say ruin. Uh, uh, I got married twenty five years ago. One year after marriage, we fell out, we fell out. My elder sister failed my breakup. Um, four years later, we made up. My elder sister said over her dead body oh wow i was i was surprised because she is in niger with her broke husband i am here in the uk <laughs> you i laugh easily you guys know me i i am here in the uk with mine with my family um, i ignored her i ignored her came make i think meant, sorry i ignored her came make remarried and it's about 20 years oh wow congratulations you know uh it's been better every day my sister keep malice with me even though you're happy wow till date not everyone is happy for you okay this was is nancy supposed to set the rules in her sister's marriage oh no she's not supposed to say that's what listen to me i said i actually said it is left for you to set your own rules in your own marriage but at the same time let's be honest if nancy knows what is good why can't you as an individual, if it is good for you, why is that not good for your own sister? If, it, if call, no, no name calling is good for your marriage, why as a good sister that you are supposed to be, why can't you apply that thing that you know that is good in your marriage? Why can't you also apply it in your own sister's marriage? It's not even a matter of advice your sister. Don't You guys don't do it too. It's not a good thing. Don't curse each other, two of you, blah, blah. But she extended, she went as far as insulting the name calling that is not good in her marriage, she went as far as doing the name calling in her sister's marriage. Nancy said, no matter how much you quarrel, you should never do name calling. But she name called her sister's husband. So that amazing thing that Nancy is applying in her marriage as a good sister, is she not supposed to apply it in her sister's marriage? And I said, my message to you as a viewer, this is the message I feel that's in it. It is left for you to decide your own rules for your marriage. Because somebody else can apply amazing things in their own marriage. But they will not deem it fit to apply that amazing thing in your own marriage for you too. Let me see. Some sisters... <coughs> excuse me. Your sister, excuse me. So, some sisters would want to know everything about your marriage. But would never tell you anything about their marriage. Tell me about it. The same thing with some friends. There are some friends, they will ask you the tiniest little details about your marriage. Friends, that they will ask the tiniest little details. How your husband is in bed? What does he do? Is he, too, is he good at this? Is he good at that? But they will never tell you, pimp, about your own. But it's you that is left for you to sit back and say, you know what, let me make my mouth a shum. I don't have to say my own. Right? Let me read another comment. Uh, Mercy said, in my opinion, she learned from her sister's breakup. No, no, she already said it, that that is the ground rule. They've always had that ground rule and didn't want the same to happen to her. To her. She learned, you say, so, <clears throat> Mercy said, in my opinion, she learned from her sister's breakup <clears throat> and didn't want the same to happen to her. 
Mm -mm. She said that this has been their rule or their principle from day one. That is whatever they... Tito Deo, anytime she talks about Justin and Justin family, I don't, she doesn't talk about them in a... How do I say it? Let me... You know, like I'm saying, when people... Their marriage is... Somebody here just testified that their own marriage later came back together. You know, me, I've been saying it before. People can always... I'm not saying they will, though. But let me tell you guys something else. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I saw a video right don't forget it's my opinion i'm sharing you're free to share yours in the comment section right i saw a video <clears throat> sorry let me read this comment lamosa lamosa said the more people that are involved in your marriage crisis oh the more chances of break up trust nobody advising you most people advise just to ruin yours you see i've made a video then when i used to have time to do live video i, I don't know live video doesn't really suit me um Thank you so much for your, um, what's it called now, for this uh, thing you just said, Nalamusa. Not everybody in this life is happy for you. I don't know. Let me tell you guys. Do you know that jealousy is one of the, it's actually a natural thing. Do you know a pastor was preaching once? Was he a, past, a pastor? Uh, yeah, one past, a pastor was preaching once and he said something that there are some things that are just natural. It's naturally, it's like the devil has put it in us as human beings. That if you see a little child lie, are you like, okay, this child is too little to understand. Okay, for example, let's imagine a one-year-old, a two-year-old, that you say you put something here and say, don't touch it, okay? Don't touch that thing. And you walk away and that child touched it. And you come and say, did you touch it? Nobody taught that child to say, to lie, to say they didn't touch it. It's, a, it's, like, it's like a natural thing that the devil does of us. You see, I always want to separate. Some people may not be Christians. My, this aspect may not really suit them, but those that are Christians will get it, right? And, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a natural thing that God puts goodness in you. Wait, now wait one second, one second. Uh, I will read your comment now, Chidi. Um, the goodness in you is put in you in, by God, and the uh, evil, if I use the word evil, it put naturally by, you know. So, you see, jealousy is a natural, is a, is a, how do I say it? Like the Bible says, if I'm not mistaken now, if I'm saying it right, the, the spirit of jealousy. Is it the spirit of jealousy or something like that? I'm not sure now. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the spirit of jealousy. If it's a spirit, that means it has its own power to jump into you. Sometimes you will see that there are people that their friend just bought new shoes. And all of a sudden they're like, oh, look at this new shoe. I can't afford it. And jealousy set in. And the thing is, whether your friend has new shoes or not, it doesn't affect your life. It doesn't change the fact that you have your own shoes. But it's that spirit that comes into you. You didn't plan it. You, that's why we have to fight against that when it comes into us. You fight against it and say, no, I don't want this. I don't need to be jealous of my friend. I don't need to be, I should be, you understand? But it's something you have to intentionally fight against. The same thing you come on social media. Some people are showing off their latest, blah, blah, blah. It takes a lot to say, no, I don't need to, I don't need to have that. She has it. He has it. I don't need it. My life, I have everything that I need. It takes a lot in you to fight it. Let me read this comment. The spirit of jealousy, thank you, is what, okay. You see, the Bible says the spirit of jealousy is worse than the spirit of witchcraft. Let me go back to this comment. I don't want to miss. So Chidi said, hmm, and uh, Summer, you don't expect someone to drag my sister on the internet and you expect me not to drag them uh, to field. Everyone reacts differently. Hallelujah. Uh, you speak your mind, right? But we're going back to what Nancy said, that even if you're quarreling, you should never do name calling. Defending her sister, she didn't need to do name calling. She could have done it without name calling. What is my message? What Nancy applies in her home, applies in her marriage. She didn't apply it to her sister's marriage. That message she preached, I'm going to tell you guys, is 110% the truth. Avoid name calling in your marriage. I've shared marriage stories. You see, I've never shared anything for mostly what I share is nothing is for entertainment. For me, it's about passing a message across. And I learn from people too. There are some people that their comments have blessed me. Like, I, oh, wow, I never thought about that. I was, you know, when I, so when I was sharing my, my, my story, I talked about, you know, I, my own situation. I was with a man that has had other relationships before. And one thing he told me, he said, one thing he likes about me and that he wants us to maintain is to never do name calling. Because it's something he's, he has experienced before. Talked about how painful name calling is. And me, naturally, is not something I do. I don't even, 
You see, I can speak my language, right? But you know, I don't even know how to curse in my language. The day I saw, uh, um, there's one pastor they call Pastor Dumeje. A lot of you will know him. He, I wanted to make a video about content. He, he something about he he did, and he said Otolobabu Gebao. I had to call my family back home in Nigeria to tell me what is Otolobabu Gebao because I don't understand. Like cursing is not something I grew up with. So I did like Igbo language. I cannot even like somebody. You know the way some people do. When we we're growing up in Benin, you say you the crazy, you the mad, all those kind of. Right? I don't even like if, if I I may even be able to do some in in like in pidgin English, but in my language, I because I was not raised with it. So, um, Chidi, my point is this: I've never said don't defend your sister, whatever. Mm -mm. Chidi, first I don't, I don't follow defend the Cora, because I was not a fan of the way just I said Justin coming at say uh, mother did three some uh, uh, the wife ex um, ex wife did three some I said it's unnecessary that's the mother of your children no matter what fight my mother and my father would have even if my mama God forbid my mama was not but let's say even if my mama not show I don't my I will not be appreciating my father coming to tell the world you understand I felt like it I never defended uh, what's it called? Um, Justin for, for all of those things, and I defended Cora from the you know, I would defend what I see as the right thing that has always been my stand on it. And I'm you see, we are discussing this thing, you can take it as entertainment or you can take it as something to learn from. Our sister up here, I've forgotten, I think, talked about her marriage broke up and they came back together after how many years. And till today, 20 years later, they are still together. You can read that comment and take something from it. Or you can come here and use this for drama or whatever. The lesson is there for everybody. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, let me, I want to make sure I hear everybody. Okay. If you, Mercy said, if you followed Cora and Justin's case, you would know that their issue has been has been before Justin broke this marriage. Me, I didn't know them until they broke up. Please, someone stop blame me uh -uh, no 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 okay let me read your comment please i must stop blaming nancy my question for you let me before i forget mercy nancy said no name calling right my question is this so it's okay for nancy to say never do name calling when you are fighting but, but at the same time she did name calling when the fight came out in her husband in her sister's marriage but she doesn't do it in her own marriage that is my are you that is my question make sure you're hearing me properly right he says please uh so I must stop blaming nancy for cora's breakup no 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 uh please oh quote me right oh i did not blame nancy for cora's breakup where did i say that now did i even say that if we want to talk about their breakup we can talk about that one on the, on the uh, today's video i'm talking about nancy did not apply what she applies in her marriage she be, i'm even talking about her doing name calling that was after the breakup now so please that's another problem some people don't listen to they don't like they hear you but they are not really listening listen to what i'm saying nancy said don't do name calling in your marriage now that is what she applies in her marriage but i'm saying why did she not apply the same thing in her own sister's marriage when they had a fight okay so let me finish your comment so please someone don't blame nancy for cora's marriage which i didn't do uh it's not nice to do if you follow their case you will know that the bds didn't want this to happen you did not you have not listened to what i'm saying so excuse me Solomon Ugochi Yunis said, the fact remains that any other person outside the couple is a third party. 100%. She can build her home because she had her husband decides the rule. Cora and, Cora and her husband invited third party. Okay, which we can say that, but I'm saying now, as she has built her home as a sister, and she built these amazing principles that she knows is good for marriage, as a good sister, when she got involved, when she got involved, was it good that she applied what she would never do in her marriage to her sister's marriage? The name calling. She did the name calling in her sister's marriage, but she didn't do it in her marriage. That is what I'm discussing. And I'm now saying, as you, uh, you as an individual, make up your mind today to decide for yourself what should happen in your marriage. Don't depend on somebody else. Because some people can do the amazing things in their own marriage, but they will not do it in your own marriage okay then uh someone uh summer leave nancy alone create another content i love you a lot okay now um if you love me do me one big favor don't tell me what content to create if you don't like my content please unfollow block me 
okay somebody may grab one or two message from what i'm saying if you don't grab that's fine it's not everyone that will video that will work for you so there are some things that i see i, I wanted to stop talking about you know i already said it but there are some things you see like i said and i feel like there's a message in it it's hard for me to keep my mouth shut okay let me refinish your comment uh, i love you a lot but this is not nice okay i've told you now please do me a favor don't tell me don't tell me what content to create Please, if I, would uh, if I would appreciate if you... You see, when I speak the truth that some people don't want to be said, that's when I get comments like this. If I come here and I'm speaking, the days that I speak about Justin, people like you will come here and praise me. But the truth is this. If we're going to be honest, there are places where you say, Justin, oh, he's wrong here. Cora is wrong here. But some of you want me to come. Only speak when it suits the people you support. Uh, let me finish that comment, actually. If I would appreciate... I would appreciate if you you talk generally on the lesson to learn from the divorce. My dear, this is what I want to talk about. This is the message I have in my head. And you have the comment section to contribute your own message or whatever you want to do. This is, I'm not in your own brain. You are not in my own brain. It's the message that's coming in my own head that I'm sharing. And somebody left a comment here that I think is a blessing to anybody that wants to learn from it. Right? Um... Um, yes, uh, Chidi said, yes, you never defended Justin at some point. Exactly. So there are some things Justin will be doing. I was okay, this one is okay. There are some things, in my, this is me sharing my opinion. Some things, I will, I will say, yeah, I am, I am sticking with the, the story rather than individuals. But a lot of you have chosen individuals. So you are either, you're, um, either Cora fan or Justin fan. So no matter what Cora does, you will say, you know, you will twist it and twist. No matter what Justin does, you will twist that. But that's a lie. Even if you want to settle a couple's fight, we're not settling this problem. I'm just speaking. Because like I'm saying, it's about people taking lessons out of it. If you ever want to settle a couple's fight, you don't come and tell the man, hey, you are the one that is right. No, look at this. Or take the woman. You're the one that is right. No, no, no. Look at it and say, ah, Chukudi, when your wife did this, you as you know that, blah, blah, blah. You, um, Obiageli, when he said this, tell them the truth that will make them work on their marriage. Don't come and say, I have chosen a side. Ch Chukud is my brother. I will support him. Uh, no, Bageli is my sister. How dare you? That's not how to help people. That is not how. Uh, and again, Nancy have been a great support system to the both of them. To both of them, even Justin acknowledged that. Yeah, well, well I, one thing, let me actually, since you said it, let me say, when the Nancy released the, 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 one of the, you see, when this whole thing started from day one, people, I didn't know there was a, people were coming to my YouTube video like, oh, Summer, what do you think about, what's your opinion about this uh, couple? Oh, we like listening to you because you always break out messages out of the blah, blah. And then I, I started searching and I found that, oh, okay. Initially, I even told people, I said, I don't have anything to sink my teeth into because I didn't know what was going on. But slowly, slowly, I came out, I made a video, I said, um, I like the way Cora was handling it. She was being matured about it. You know, all of that. Justin was the one that was saying, she's the horse, she's the dish, she's the daughter. I was like, I like the way she's handling it. Oh my goodness, this maturity should be studied. I was saying all of that. And even when Nancy came out at first, and came out, the first time I saw Nancy was when she came and she was calling um, the family names. I said it, I said, I came out, I said, that was not right. You want to talk about it? I personally said it that it's not right to call that family name. That family to today have never come out to call anybody names. So, uh, they, they, and then Nancy was saying something about oh, they are just truck, truck, truck drivers. They are just um, they are just hairdressers. That they are just truck drivers. I said it. I said that's wrong. Hairdress, hairdressers, truck drivers. They are legit jobs. I said that was wrong. When Nancy said, how dare Justin? come and threaten her in her own country and threaten her with a lawsuit. I supported that. I said, how dare him? Who does he think he is? Did just did not threaten me. He threatened me with a lawsuit. I told him to bring it up. Even after he threatened him, I came and gave, gave him more uh, videos to, so he can add it to the lawsuit. He came to my inbox. I shared it here. So I did, let me tell you guys, if this stuff will ever make up, eh, if oh, two of them will hate me because I spoke, a, you see, he may, I don't know how to say it, like, some people be like, oh yeah, some are, um, uh, Cora may be like, oh, this person stood by me even when I was wrong and right. Justin can say, oh, those people stood by me when I was wrong or right. Two of them will say, I believe two of them will hate me because I never stood by any of the two of them. I spoke the truth. 
to the best of my knowledge on both sides. So going back to this, your comment, I made. okay, now, one thing that really threw me off about Nancy, forget about, okay, when she called, came and calling the family names, the same names, she doesn't call in her own marriage, or, okay, but let me tell you what threw me off. When she came out and brought out the so-called receipts, and it was shown by her own text messages that she was the one that told Justin to leave the house. Leave. Just leave that house. Leave that house. She repeated this so many times. But when this thing went viral that Justin left, Nancy should have had the decency to say, I was the one that told him to leave so that they would not hurt each other, so that they would not hurt the children. She should have been honest enough to do that. But she came out and said, he left her after blah, blah. He, she never told us. Or told the world because I did they bring the help to come out that I, I was the one that told him. Do you know how many times she kept on repeating that Justin should leave the house? Justin should leave the house. And eventually, Justin said, Okay, I would leave. Let's be honest. So, after she has told him to leave, which makes sense because he's okay, if you guys are going to be fighting, leave so that there, nobody will get hurt. That was 100% good thing to say. But when the man finally obeyed and left, and the whole world was saying, He left her after one day, he left her after one minute. Why couldn't she, as a human being with a heart, come out and say, guys, blaming me other ones, but this one, please, guys, I was the one that told him to leave for, so they don't hurt each other. Let's, let's be honest. Seriously, let's be honest. On both sides. She just said, um, when you are angry, when we are angry, we react differently. At that point, she no remember principle. Now, normal. Okay. So, she no remember principle. But at the same time, if you no remember principle, don't forget, she didn't do it one time. So, when you are angry, the principle that is good for your marriage, that when you mistakenly did it in your marriage, you and your husband went for dinner to go and make it up. Right? You got angry, you mistakenly did it in your marriage, you went and made it up. But she did it several times in her sister's marriage. Her marriage... Is working out well and may it continue i don't pray break up for anybody ever but that amazing thing that's good in your marriage my thing is this why is it not good for your sister's marriage you said it was angry she was angry she did it first time to justin and cora's marriage she did it second time but do you know how many times she has called justin names she mistakenly did or she and her husband mistakenly did it once in their marriage and they went for dinner to go and fix it but she let's say she mistakenly did it in Cora's one. She continued to continue to continue to do it in Cora's one. Be honest. Let's be honest. Thanks, Jumbo. Jumbo Betty said absolutely well said. Uh, she matched Justin energy for name calling. Um I'm not even speaking. Do you know that um okay Umwa Chuku is saying she matched okay? Let me do you know have you noticed that I'm even speaking about Justin and Cora name calling now? Because two of them can make it's possible that they didn't set that principle in their own marriage. I'm not so I'm even, if you notice, I'm not even speaking about them. I'm speaking about the sister. I, um, I'm, I'm not speaking about them name calling. I'm speaking about the sister that knows this amazing advice. She came and she gave it on her platform, or she, she's preaching it on her platform. But the thing is this: why didn't she extend that hand to her sister's marriage? And the point I'm bringing is. Now you, as an individual, should watch your marriage and protect your marriage as a couple. Because some people will never apply to you those amazing things that they apply in their own marriages. You owe it to yourself to create principles that should guide your marriage. Because from what I'm saying, from what I'm saying, what Nancy does in her marriage to protect it, she didn't extend it to her sister's marriage. Okay, she matched her uh, majestic energy for name calling. Uh, he called her plenty names, which I am sure pained them. Okay, she so she she called her plenty names. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He called her plenty names, which I am sure pained them, and energy was returned. Justin also called Nancy a a, a, a b i t c h l. I haven't seen that. Though. The one I've seen, I will say it. I don't know if I've never seen personally. Please, um, if you have seen it, you can tell me. I've never seen where Justin called her the B-I-T-C-H. But remember what I'm saying. If you're conscious of what I'm saying, don't forget I'm talking about how you apply this to your own marriage. So I I'm using these people's story to speak. But at the end of the day, the point is for you and I to walk away with a message. We're not going to walk away with Justin or Cora and Nancy. No, we're here to walk away with the message. Unfortunately for them, if I can use the word, they are the ones that put themselves out there for us to watch and learn from. So get my point. My point is this. 
that amazing thing that is good for Nancy's marriage, basically, from what we have seen, is not good enough for her to do for her sister's marriage. Um, I will call names to any man who will dump my sister a few days postpartum. I basically just said it here now. Let's not forget, excuse me, me, oh, oh, funny enough, if you watch my old, old videos, I, I said it there. A man walking away from me, even in labor room, I'd rather have that than a man that ends a woman's life. We've seen cases where marriage broke up and in the name of fight, they one punch, one punch, one person fall for ground. God forbid that Nance, uh, now Justin stayed. And she be, he said he was afraid when he's sleeping that uh, Cora may bash his head in and all of that. It shows you that it has gotten to that extent, right? When a couple gets to the point where violence has entered, my people, that is the best time for people to walk away. I would rather a man walk away even as the baby's head just came out, boom, in a hospital bed, I mean in a delivery room, than for them to stay together and end each other's lives. Children can have both parents' life apart than to be together. And Do you know that if they were to fight and one ended the other one's life, do you know what would happen? The one that ended the other one's life will be in jail and the children will be in foster care or whatever. Okay, sorry guys, an email just came through, right? So people, before you talk about leave, I, if people don't know, this is, when the man said he could not, he was afraid that they, was, they would smash his head in. Then Nancy was saying, two of you should be apart because he's getting too much, he's not safe for the children, which is the truth. If it has gotten to that point, it doesn't matter when he left. It doesn't matter. You people need to get that into your head. There is never too early to walk away. Do you know it's better to leave too early, your so-called too early, in quote, than to leave too late when one person's life ended? Don't ever. You guys don't get this message. Why is it so hard to get? We talk about people's lives ending in marriages. Both sides. We see women that ended the man's life. Man ended the woman's life. Why do we still speak about when people decided to walk away? It is never too early to walk away. That has been my stand from the beginning and it will remain my stand. Because in my language, we say, Ndubuisi, life is the principal thing. Life is the main thing. Every other thing can wait. You see, life is the main thing. To get it right and to get it wrong, all of the, is, no, is, it, is it not who is alive that can get it wrong? Is it not who is alive that can get So when you are alive, you can always re-strategize or whatever. So couples can never split too early. Because I have seen the cases where it ended. And it didn't end in a good way. So don't be talking about... And then, Ejiro, Emiho, let's not forget who, that Nancy left, showed us text messages where she was the one that told him to leave. And why? Because of violence. The fear of violence. And she gave a good advice. She told him to leave. So you come in and to say, he don't pay after whatever. He left. The problem I have with him leaving is that he should have left. He didn't need to bring it on social media. He didn't need to come on social media and call Cora names. Leave, if not for anything else. When I shared my marriage story, some people were like, some people even feel like, so myself, you're defending this man. So myself, because I didn't come out and start, you know, cursing him and attacking him or whatever. No matter what, even if I lose every respect for him, let me tell you guys, one of the things that guides me, I always try to remember who we were before things became difficult. Who, how we fell in love. And I, I always remember it. So it's not even about the love aspect, but I remember who we were. And then that is not even the biggest one. This is the father of my children. If I have no respect whatsoever for him at all, I still have respect for my children. And well, luckily for me, I have grown children. I have respect for my children. There are some things I will never say about your father. That's why sometimes when I speak and I'm like, I find it hard to tell them, your father is actually, he's not a bad, he's not a bad person, but this, this, uh, so people, even in my life, they put like, oh, why, so why you're defending this guy? It's because I, I'm not, guy, I, I didn't allow emotion to get me carried away. I try to stick with the truth. If you guys met, meet the man, you guys will be the ones, ah, now I know why someone is saying, he's not really a bad person, no. So, um, who am I re replying? I was replying a uh, age zero. Uh -huh. So let, let the truth guide us. Nancy told him to leave. And she did the right thing because if he's going to get violent, it's better they go their separate ways. At least, especially for the, especially for the children. She told him to leave and he left. 
And I'm saying that it's not right that when the world was dragging Justin for leaving, they never said, Cora, Nancy never come out and say, you know what, guys, okay, drag him for other things, but this leaving, I may tell and make it leave. Oh, but the reason I told him to leave is until she brought out the text messages, we saw it. Right? Now, I was saying, okay, here, yeah, I think I was thinking about where I blame Justin is, you see this matter? Okay, the same problem that I had with when this girl, Anita girl, came out and said she and uh, Davido, blah, 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 she was saying. I said, if Davido got you pregnant, according to her, and all of that, it doesn't make it okay. I feel like the Anita girl came out with the intention to destroy. I hate that. Don't try to destroy anybody. You don't create anybody. So he said he's not doing it again, or you said you're pregnant, and he told you, according to the Anita girl, who I've read a bit, but let me, it will bring the point together. The Anita girl came out and said she told um, Davido she was pregnant, and Davido, she, there was a tweet she posted, and she said, Davido told her, told her it's not the right time or something like that, or Davido does not want the baby. For that reason, she came out to destroy. She was dragging, and she came out for Davido, came out for Chioma, Davido's wife, came out for their daily, nothing she did not do. I hate that about, you know, I hate that when people do that. Don't try to destroy people because you're no longer working. There's, there are mature ways to handle it. Justin could have handled the thing the matured way. He came out, from what I saw, he came out in a destructive way. And I felt like whatever pained him, like today I don't know what broke up their marriage, but I'm thinking it was a money problem. I think, I think that a money problem, which is another topic for another day, right? But he got pained. He could have, he, let me tell you guys, when Justin decided he was, he wasn't going to continue with the marriage, just say, I'm no longer marrying her. He didn't need to go the extra, the, the smear campaign that Justin talks about. He started the smear campaign. Unfortunately, it, 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 it backfired. I will be honest and tell you that guys that it backfired on Justin. I, that's 100% the truth. And if Justin did not go the way he went, the thing will not have blown up as big as it did. By now, you see, when he say, whatever name he tries to, whatever he tries to say Cora is now, he created it. If he say, uh, um, if he tries to tell people that Cora is scamming them, Cora has money because there's a new one now. He came out and said, he showed and said, Cora made 80 something thousand in a month. See, I don't need to be told. There was a, a, a YouTuber, was a white lady that she doesn't get a lot of views, but she says she makes like 20K a month. So if that woman, that I, one or a woman that she was making a video, if she can make 20K a month, telling me Cora makes 80,000 and above, it wouldn't surprise me one bit. But I see that Justin is trying to let, tell people that, oh, Cora is coming, you guys, she, look at what she makes. She, look at what, he's not saying it, but that is the message I got from that. So you see now, I'm not quoting, I, if I'm quoting people directly, I will do it. I, I would quote them directly. But what he's saying that, look at how much she's making. And she come as single parents, struggling, single parents. So basically, he's showing you guys. So if he calling Cora a scammer, he enabled it. Because what he, he did is why people now feel, people sympathize with her. Oh, she just had a baby and he dumped her. He, like, he created all of these things. He came out with so much force that was so unnecessary. And it backfired on him. That is the truth. It backfired on him. So, um, oh, sorry. I will call, okay, there's so many comments. Uh, so, about uh, Ejiro saying that uh, he left postpartum. Let's remember that it was Nancy that told him to leave. And Nancy did the right thing by telling him to leave because that was for the safety of everybody involved. But she should have come out and tell everybody. So, sorry, there are many comments. Now. Let, me, let me make sure I get everybody's comment. Then it's not only my opinion. Um, somehow, sometimes we support our siblings because we can't... Uh, so much sometimes we support our siblings because we can't leave our own. I have never said don't support your sibling. No, make sure you're hearing me and you're hearing me correctly. I have never said all I'm saying is that Nancy said name calling is not good in a marriage and she doesn't do it in her marriage. She and her husband mistakenly did it and they even went to dinner to go and make up. And I'm asking why did she not apply the same thing with her sister's marriage? Come out and defend your sister and all of that's no problem. But why add? She said never add name calling. Why did she add name calling to her sister's marriage? Why did she add it to her sister's marriage when she doesn't do it in her own marriage? That is my question. I, I don't know if it's, people are finding hard to understand me. Okay, I'm still getting the same thing. Lydia said that man left a, left a woman four days after giving birth. Lydia, would you have preferred if they fought and let's say God forbid, if they fought and maybe God forbid, okay, Let's say, God forbid, they fought and let's say Cora 
use the knife on him or he used the knife on Cora. Let's say they fought. Would you have preferred if they fought? Because they had a big problem. They were fighting. Right? If would you, would you have would you have preferred if they fought and Cora used the knife on him and his life ended and the police came and took Cora to jail and he is and they, they put him in grave and then the children will end up in foster care or maybe send them to Nigeria to go and live with their Nancy. Nancy, would that have been better? But that's my question, Lydia. Please answer me that question. Okay? Then he um sorry then hey, let me finish your comment lydia uh he remains a useless mumu like my nigerian sisters will call him uh love from kenya let nancy be okay um what's it called now uh what's it called i want to hear your opinion would you have preferred for them to stay together and one person's life end because their, their, their relationship had already gone south and don't forget it was nancy that told him to leave okay ejiro ego Hor horror deserves it. I don't know what they are replying to. Somehow they give voto voto to both sides, <laughs> to both sorry, to both parties. So when that's how it's supposed to be, to be honest. And let me tell you guys, if people from day one were honest on both sides, it would have humbled both sides. I believe because what's happening is that people go and praise the other one, and the other one is being praised, and that gingers them pidgin English. That that gives them that kini courage that people are saying I'm right, people are saying I'm right, so I must be right, and it gives them that kini to come out and do more. People have not told them the truth that will humble them to sit back and, you know what I mean? And, you know, uh, what's it called? And, and um, well, sometimes, I don't know if I want to talk that one now. Uh, and just, and just, and Dustin has not started, sorry, has, has not started the depression journey. Okay, let me tell you guys, mistake you guys make is when you see one person is smiling and it's coming out, you think the person is 100% happy. Let me tell you, happiness is not necessarily what, what you see. Justin does not have the same energy as Cora. Cora is able. She is very, okay, Cora's marriage was breaking up. And it was happening live for people to see every day. But Cora came out every day. And she's still dancing as if nothing. Are you guys telling me it was not affected? Of course it was. It was too much saga. But she came out and she danced. And because she doesn't come and tell you guys that this thing is, is stressful. This man shouldn't have made this thing public. You guys assume she was... Oh, she did that. She'd been on the day she came out and cried. Are you like, oh, she's actually feeling it. So don't go. See, let me tell you guys. Eh? When I was in nursing school, there was one of the things they made us understand. Sometimes even the people that are the smiliest, the people that are the happiest, there are people that are the, the happiest people that make other people laugh. You will not hear, ah, God forbid, like, I'm just speaking. This is something that's happened. People that are the bubbliest that make other people laugh and make other people, other people happy. Then they hear that the, such a person ended their lives. You're like, what? No, it can't be Peter. Peter is the heart of the family. Peter is the happiest whatever. Let me tell you, don't go by outward appearance. Nobody in this life that will go through the public whatever that, I will only say that Justin brought it, this is just, which is the truth. Nobody that will go through it publicly that will not feel it. So because you see Cora come out and you, you conclude that, let me tell you, there's, uh, uh, um, okay. Okay. I have too many stories to share because I always like this is what I'm saying about you see when you hear see stories you grab the message out of I have a lot of stories that I have grabbed things from right that the uh, white man that the white the white man that the wife died and he was going for therapy you know he was going for therapy and he looked very like sad and depressed and he looked that's the word and every, but he goes for therapy with his children. He takes them to therapy every time. They go for counseling every time. And that is their healing process. And I began to realize that in our culture, I'll speak for myself as a Nigerian, we don't believe in, in therapy. We don't believe in counseling. It's not really our thing. They believe in just get up and keep going. Ah, just dust yourself off. Ah, wait, see, that way happened yesterday. Now you see they talk. Meaning that one that happened yesterday, you're still talking about, ah, move on. Yeah, move on. We don't believe in sitting back and actually grieve actually take time to heal we believe in just come out and yeah 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 oh yeah yeah we party we have <laughs> we have the happiest people but a lot of people are in pain talking about the guy that they went through therapy that was the eye opener for me they've been through therapy you will not believe that for years they were still going they started with i think maybe like weekly and then they changed to monthly then they now is every six months and they haven't stopped and I see how they have healed. When I look at them now, I'm seeing a very wholesome family. 
because they allow themselves to go through that process. Justin is, is a, from a different culture where they, they believe in, if you need counseling, you go for it. If you need whatever, they do it. They believe in all of that. But our culture doesn't typically do it. And because somebody is looking whatever, you don't know. I'm not saying that I'm not in his life, but I'm just letting you know that you don't know from the outward appearance <clears throat> what is really going on. You can say he's depressed. Possibly you want him to be depressed. But whether Cora is depressed or Justin is depressed, it doesn't add sugar to my gari. It doesn't add anything to anybody's life, right? But don't judge by what you're seeing on the outside because people do their own thing in different ways, right? So, um, what was that comment? Justin has not said it. Okay, okay, let me read another comment because I'll end up not going through another one. It's hard for me to, when people are replying to each other, it's hard for me to really know what they're good for. That's another person saying good for her. E.A. Jiro, uh, I hope Hora is depressed forever. You see what I'm saying? Okay, um, another person, so oh, let me see. Uh, is suffering from mental illness what if they are okay sorry what if they were beating each other leave the house right now for things to calm down and leaving a marriage are too but yeah okay now and uh said okay now let me read from the beginning what if they were beating each other leaving leave the house right now for things to calm down and leaving a marriage are two different things nancy didn't ask him to leave the marriage good Thank God you said that. I am so happy you said that. This is what I'm saying about. When Nancy spoke about name calling. When Nancy spoke about name calling. When, they, when, they, when he left that house, things could have changed. And they may have come back together after that. But, okay, now, okay, sorry. Let me start by saying this. At least, let's agree with the fact that the initial stage he left that marriage. I mean, okay, he left that house. okay. Now you're saying leaving the marriage and leaving the house are two different things. So, but you guys are judging him by when he left the house. Abi, now, and left the house that he left. Oh, no, forget saying now. Nancy was the one that told him to leave the house. But after he left the house, they could have healed if name calling and all of the whole blow up did not happen. And when it comes to that, I will always say it. Cora was not doing the public. Um, drama at the beginning. It was, um, what's his name? Nancy and Justin that were doing it. Cora wasn't. I will give her that credit. Cora was not doing any name calling. She was not doing, she was even speaking about it at the beginning. If the thing did not blow out, out of proportion, maybe leaving the house would, have, would not have turned to leaving the marriage. But Nancy played a big role in name calling. And Justin played a big role in name calling. Cora didn't at the beginning. I will, give her, I, will always, I will always give her that. So if it was done right at the beginning, maybe after some time, if Justin did not even bring it to the internet, maybe they would have made up. We're not going to even know that they even fought. If Justin did not bring it out, you see where everybody, they chop their own blame separately. There are some areas where I would say, oh, Cora did the right thing. But Nancy, from outside, her sister that is in the marriage did not do name calling in the beginning. But Nancy, that does not do name calling in her own marriage, went and implemented name calling in, the, in, the, in her sister's marriage. Okay? So we leave the house right now for things to calm down and live in there. Yeah. So, but when Nancy too is speaking, he left her, he left her. He, she never told the world. Until she, whether accidentally or whatever, posted her, because maybe she didn't, never thought about it. She posted it where she was the one that told him to leave. Leaving the house, when Nancy was speaking, he left her after she had it. Why did she tell people? I was the one that told him to leave the house. So why did she say that? Right? Okay. Leave them. Uh, I want to make sure I read everybody's comment. Then it's not just only my opinion, everybody's opinion. This is my, so far it's going really well. I like this maturity. Everybody is speaking their mind. Please, guys, let, let's make it about the message in it. Okay, let me see if I can go through everybody's comments. Leave the house right now uh, for things to calm down and leaving the marriage are two different things. Nancy didn't ask him to leave the marriage. Okay, she left, but she told him to leave the house. We are now, we are now all agreeing that that leave the house. People have been blaming him according to when he left the house. But let's give the credit for leaving of the house to Nancy because she was the, she was the one that told him to leave. Okay? Okay. Um... Depression does not stay on black skin. You see, that is the mentality. And she has been winning. And, madam, stop crying. 
Okay, are you? I will call names. Okay, I don't know. I think she's re replying to somebody. Hopefully, it's not me. Because if it's me, you are telling to stop crying. I don't think she's me. She's replying for somebody. Anybody that come and tell me to stop crying will leave my page. But it's not me. I've seen you guys can do whatever with yourself. But there are some things that I don't tolerate on my page. My own is that the minute I get put my block because I I'm too old for some kind of. For me, oh, there are some things I don't have time to come here and be insult, uh, exchanging insults with anybody. Oh, the name calling we're talking about, self. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So it's not in my, it's not my style. Okay, she was replying. She was replying somebody in that comment. Anyways, uh, no, two people are fighting there. So is there Jiro and Crystal Draga fighting? Okay, let me leave them with their fight. Let me Draga. It's worse with you. You see you crying. Okay, sorry. It's, she's referring to Crystal Abby. Yeah, Crystal. Okay, let me see more comment, but I want to contribute to this conversation. Um, in the leaked audio summer, he said everything was going as planned until the okay, 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 until the BRTCH arrived. Okay, the BRTCH he, who who arrived was Nancy. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you for that, and watch. Thank you for that. Um, well, he said everything was going okay. Um, before Nancy arrived, from that, well, like I'm saying, if. Justin and Cora handled it from what I saw, the way na na uh, Cora handled it in the beginning. No, if they, if Justin handled it, the way, and, and Nancy handled, if Nancy and Justin handled it the way Nancy, the way Cora handled it from the beginning, where there was silence. You, do you know why in a lot of countries, when couples want to divorce, they need to have a separation period first? Because they because the courts have had cases where <laughs> couples will come and divorce. After the divorce, a few months later, they come back to come and marry again. That used to be the history in the past. They would divorce. After one year, they would come back and make up again. That was when, as far as I know, that was how the law came that, you know what, some countries would say two years to be sure that you really mean it. Because sometimes after people break up, people, after they break up, they take a while to reflect and everything and come back together. If they had handled it the way Nan Cora handled it, when I say they, Justin and Nancy, if they had handled it the way uh, Cora handled it from the beginning, complete silence, whatever, maybe, oh, maybe they may have come back together. I'm not saying they will, but maybe because Cora did not do any name calling at the beginning. Okay, so let me see. I want to make sure everybody's voice is heard. I think, okay, okay, um, exactly. Leaving early, leave early. Justin saying he didn't know Atina was his until that delivery day when he was handed the baby what exactly what exactly was holding him was holding the sorry what exactly was holding him there because it wasn't love or forgiveness but my sister things happen in marriages that if she be not because this one brought their own out that's why me i say that there are other factors in this their fight that we, we are not aware of the ones we can look at are the areas we can grab messages from if he genuinely in his heart did not think athena was his child let you and i be honest if you are a man and for what i don't know what made him think athena is not his child i don't know what made him think you and i don't know why he thought the child is not his don't forget that cora said that when he left her in nigeria and she, when she was in Nigeria waiting to come and join him as a fiancé, right, that she had an affair. A man that heard that they've already done their traditional marriage, he has met the elders, she has become his wife, the only white wedding remained. Don't forget in Nigeria, the real marriage that Nigeria recognizes, Nigerian culture recognizes on top of, above all of them, is the traditional one. Traditional way where the family, uh, families meet each other. What was his name now? Justin's parent, uh, mother was there at the traditional wedding. So Cora was married. And she said it that she had an affair while she was waiting to go and join him. Let's be honest. Please be honest. As a man and your wife told you that while she was waiting to come and join you, she had an affair. It can be hurtful. And if you ever say it can, if you ever trusted somebody and say, oh, you see this, my friend Kunle. Kunle can never steal meat from my pot. Kunle, I know Kunle very well. No matter which thing, Kunle can never do that. And then one day, Kunle now stole meat from your pot. You can never come out and brag again and say, Kunle can never eat meat from my pot. You now know that Kunle has the ability and the capability. <laughs> you get my point. So what happens when somebody has already experienced an unfaithfulness? Trust can be gone. 
it come it's not easy to see eh it's like a plant um oh no a, a, a plant in a vase right or oh, let's speak about the vase on its own if you break a, a, a flower vase right after you break it you can glue it you can sell it up it so let tape it, you can do everything, but you are never going to have the same vase again. For Justin to say he thought that child was not his, we don't know the reason behind it. And let's not forget, you see that every time I'm speaking is a fact that they, that they have produced. Cora has said it. She said it, that yes, she, she said it, she said she tasted from the Pandora box. box. That was how she phrased it. So for that man, and she said she, she told him. So don't, let's be honest, for such a man to now have trust issues, Come on, any of us, if we're in that position, we may have trust issues too. So if genuinely he thought that that child was not his, there must have been a reason. And thank God, as God will have it, I've said it before in one of my videos, when that baby popped out from day one, as God wanted to solve the problem in public eye, we don't even need DNA. <laughs> the baby came out and resembled him 120%. That in the, how did they talk now? In the court of public opinion, we now know, say, ah, I ain't get this Pikino. Because if that child did not even look like him, a lot of us may be saying, maybe no be him, maybe na him. But as, if I can use God, though, because if you don't they follow God now, you may be like, what is she talking about? If you're bund, bundi, Buddhist or whatever religion, what I'm saying may not apply to you, but Christians will know what I'm talking about. So for everybody to see and see that, that baby looks hundred, and we can see the resemblance. So, but a real, there's less, come on, if that guy was your brother, this is what I tell people, when you discuss these things, if just ask yourself, if Justin was my brother, if Cora was my sister, if they always do that, it helps sometimes for you to speak the truth. Or if it is me, if my brother to, tells me that his wife had an affair and then in the past, right? And then she's pregnant and he has doubts. If it's you, are you going to quickly say, why would you have doubts or whatever? If he say, we don't know why he had doubts, but thank God, the child is his. Right? Exactly. Leave early. Justin saying that, I think that uh, and he's until delivered, uh, what exactly was holding him back. So they, may, they, have, they have been re resentments. They might have been resentments. Now something must end the marriage. Let's not forget. Something must cause a fight. So what exactly was holding him, holding him there? Because it, it wasn't love or forgiveness. <laughs> It, it they happen that people did not forgive it they happen that's why i tell people if your marriage is going well protect it too especially our nigerian men not all men M women can be unfaithful too but in our culture it's almost like <laughs> it's almost like a man's right to be it's because our culture kind of like eh, if he's unfaithful a man cannot be a man cannot be unfaithful oh, it's hard for them oh. our people promote that they forget that there's no monopoly to unfaithfulness anybody can be if your marriage is going well you are a man or a woman your marriage please don't destroy the trust you have for each other because it can be it can be very hard to rebuild it can be very hard i experienced unfaithfulness and i can tell you that the trust me, hey, God, although my own case, I said, you know what, we're never, we're never going to stay apart anymore. Because mine was in Nigeria and I was abroad. I said, you know what, is it that I come and join you in Nigeria or you come and join me here? Because I, I cannot trust what is going on there. Because that, that trust was gone. And let me tell you, that, my, that relationship, I, for, I did forgive, but I, I, I did not forget. God forgive me. But I, I, I say, God, the area of forgetting, you are the God that created my brain. Please come and wipe it off my brain because I couldn't. So let's not come and pretend. Pain and hurt when it comes to uh, um, betrayal of your trust is not is not moi moi. Now there are part they are they use their tongue to. Now there are part they will use their tongue to count their teeth. You see, it's true. Solomon Ogochi Eunice. Okay, let me say something here. It's going to be an an unpopular opinion, but it's my opinion. In my heart of hearts. In my heart of hearts. I don't know about Justin. Like, I have not been able to figure... Like, you know the way you, you can have opinion about from, from looking at actions. Now, there was a video where Cora made and she, she wore the cloth. She said this is the dress or whatever, a clothing that she wore the first day she met Justin. I'm sorry, guys. A lot of her fans. Oh, sorry, guys. I had an alarm. Am I still, am I still on live? Can you guys still hear me? Am I, is my life still on? Can you guys let me know, please? Let me know. Say yes, if you can still hear me, because my, my live video went off. Just say, just type yes. 
so that I know that it's still on. Oh, I think I lost you guys. Can somebody type yes? Just type yes if I'm still on live video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, you, uh, Eunice. Okay, let me go back to the last comment. What was I saying? Oh, shoot. I lost my train of thought. Let me see the comment. Oh, yes. When she wore that uh, um, uh, clothing, and she said, this was the clothing I wore the first time I met Justin. The, 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 the way she spoke, this is my opinion. She sounded like she missed him. She spoke about with the biggest smile on her face. And she said to him, Baba, Baba June, are you watching? Thank you for watching. Ah, when I watched that, I said to myself, mm, it looks like, this is my opinion, it looks like she was missing him. It looks like she was, because let me tell you guys, you know, later on when she now finally, you know, initially she was whatever. Before I say this, before I forget, let me say this. When... They came out to show their own receipt. The first time Cora came out to show her own receipt. I supported, I supported that. The idea of, show, okay, he, I was unfaithful, yes, but he too ended up being unfaithful eventually. Although somebody may be like, okay, um, the marriage had already gone south when he went unfaithful. So she was the one that did it first, whatever, whatever. But, okay, let me go back to that comment that I'm trying to reply to. Okay, yeah. When she wore that cloth, when, okay, when Korak has eventually became the talking type, I started to say a lot of things. She's talked about Justin is, uh, was abusive because Justin did. She said so many things. And when she wore that same clothing, and she started saying, this was the clothing I wore the first day I met, uh, uh, the first day I met, uh, uh, um, she, first time she met J Justin, she spoke, it, spoke about it in a very warm way. If a man was abusive to me, if a man was everything Cora has said, Justin was. I'm not going to remember the day I met him in such a joyful way. Mm -mm. If a man is everything Cora has said that Justin is, there is no way. I will I, I go tell you remember what I wear the day we are seeing. In short, when I remember that day, <clears throat> I'll be remembering it like that was the, uh, you, know, you know that thing, like, that should be such a painful day. Like, I, that was the day I crossed a path cross the path of this evil person that was the day i crossed but but she spoke it in the sweetest way and i think to myself my opinion how what i think don't forget i didn't say is what i know she spoke like someone that was yes i'm replying uh, yeah this is the comment about the person that said they will use their now that they are part they will use their tongue to count their teeth i believe that there are a lot of things that they could have done that could have saved their marriage could have saved their marriage right now i don't know if justin if if i this is opinion i i can't because i can't tell i can't tell so i can't tell if he's if he wants her back i have no i don't get that vibe at all to be honest with you guys i don't get that vibe that he ever wants cora back i don't get it maybe he has it but he's not he's not showing but i don't get that vibe but when i watched that video where cora was talking about this what they were wearing she now said baba june are you watching that was like big. Thank you for watching. That was a very warm. That was warm. When I say warm, that was so warm. It was nice. It was, it was, you understand? Ah, and then, guess what? On his birthday, she wore that cloth again. One day, Let's be honest. If you want your husband back, I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> I'm not. You see, I'm being honest though. Uh -huh. If as a woman or as a man, you now reflected and say, this is where we went wrong. That is where we went wrong. We actually had something good. I would never be the one to tell people to go back together. No, no, no. Go decide. You know, everybody have their life, life to decide. Of course, we're not going to be the ones to tell them what to do. But I'm going to say this. As a woman, you're watching me. As a man, you're watching me. And you have reflected and say, ah, this is where we went wrong. This is where we got carried away. This is where blah, blah, blah. And you want your wife back. One day, go and find your wife before another man finds her. Sister, if you know that, ah, it wasn't too bad, though. We could have gotten it right by here. We could have done this. We could have done that. And you want your man back. Mwane, go and buy your husband back before another woman finds <laughs> I'm being honest, though. When I saw that, 
when the way Cora was speaking, I said, it's possible. Let me tell you guys. No human being know they get regret. That's why I say, walking away from marriage, you know, people, this is generally I'm speaking as a human being, walking away from a marriage, make sure. Make sure you really, really, really want to walk away. Because you know the heat of the moment. Do you know, for example, as a content creator, there are times when people write comments on my YouTube, not necessarily. I don't do much on Facebook, to be honest. I just throw my YouTube videos uh, here, whatever I, I remember. But let me say this, right? There are times when people write comments. Uh, maybe sometimes there's some comment people write. And at that moment, I've actually become very good at it. Because when I was new, people write comments, I reply straight away. Or, but later... When I read it, I'll be like, no, that's not how I would have replied. I realized that when you have calmed down, the way you reply will be different from that time where your head they hurt. When couples are fighting or having issues, that heated time, they, most of the time, they don't make the right decision. They don't make the right decision. You know, okay, well, let me make sure uh, everybody's voice is there. What? Okay. Uh, make sure everybody's... So let me see. Go through more comments. Sorry. Is what's with you? So, 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 da, 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 was that comment? In the... Oh, okay. Um, um, my chuku pot seller is evil. Um, okay. Another thing I have to say. Whether somebody... This is my opinion. Selling pot, selling whatever. As long as people are making their legit, their legit income. They are not criminals, whatever. Me, every job that is legit. I don't... Personally, I don't like putting down people's jobs. Um, exactly. Leave early. Okay, okay. And uh, now that... Okay, yeah. N uh, nobody will uh, arrange your home for you. That is my biggest message. That... Thank you, Chidi. That is my biggest message. Nobody will arrange your marriage for you. Even mothers give advices that thank that backfire. Thank you. What works for your home may not work for others. But what you know is good for your home too. You know why Nancy's one is even different? Is when I was saying she told Cora to insult her husband. No. She opened her mouth and did the name calling she doesn't do in her own marriage. In another person's marriage. That was not nice. That was not nice. You understand? That she, she, this is, she is not doing it in her marriage. She now went and did, it's almost like saying, ah, I have fear of snakes. I have sna fear of uh, um, butterflies. So people have phobia of butterflies, whatever. And then you see snake in your compound. You carry the snake and you, I don't even know how to phrase it. I don't, I don't think that's the right way to say it. You now see snake and throw it in your, in your, in your neighbor's house. The thing that is not good for you, you put it in another person's house. Am I making sense? I have never said, don't come and speak for your sister or whatever. But that name calling that she did, she shouldn't have done because she knows she's preaching that it is bad to do name calling in marriage. And the thing she's preaching against, that the time she and her husband mistakenly did it, they went for dinner to re resolve it. She did it in her sister's marriage. Not once, not twice, not three times, not four times. That is my message. Okay. Um... Hey, two people are still fighting. Let me jump their own comment. Let them continue. Uh, you were there in their bed with her. Okay, let me leave that one. Those are people fighting. Okay, I think I have. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave the fighting comments and just go. Exactly. He is stylishly. He is stylishly. Hey, I'm behind. Oh, sorry, guys. Drags and pretends he is a saint. Uh, he cannot pretend to be a saint because we know how he came out from the beginning. Let me tell you guys, the thing, he didn't expect the, the outcome of his initial outburst. And unfortunately, it has, it has already gone out there. It's no longer under his control. You know, he has come back to say, you know, the, you know, I am sorry, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you see, apologizing is one thing, but people are accepting apology is another. See, that's what I'm trying to say. People are accepting apology is another thing. It's just like the same way Cora was unfaithful. For him, forgiving and forgetting, it seems he never did it. You see, everybody, so the same way now he's telling people that, he, you know, I, but it's already too late because already out there. And it's left for you and I to use it and add, hey, you know that couple, I'm not going to ever do that in my own situation. It's, you understand? And let me say this. There's nothing wrong with sharing your story for people to learn from your story. But don't share it in a with the intention to be destructive. You understand? That is where he, you know, if you come and say, my marriage is over, you know, but, but no, he went, he said to, he went, oh, okay, let me just Okay, Cora's followers know. Machuku said, Cora's followers know that she has she has money. They choose to keep giving her. Um, she he shouldn't have shown that when he was making twenty five plus twenty five k plus and enjoying it. Nobody was dragging him. Um, okay, let me. Cora's followers know that she she has money. Well, I don't. Let me tell. You, I don't. 
okay, I don't think every Cora follower knows that she has, she's making money because let me tell you, there's something Cora does. Let's be honest. Again, Cora comes out and talk about she she talks about you know she she creates the impression that she's struggling. That's what I see when I I watch her. She creates the impression that oh you know the bills the this uh, another thing that came to my mind. You know when people say let's be honest though when people were saying that Cora was one basically feeding Justin. Cora was the one, yeah, you know, basically, basically Justin was surviving on Cora. When you watch their old videos, when you watch their old videos, Cora, let me put this on mute because I kept, uh, when, when we go to your old, old video, Cora was never complaining about bills in the past. Cora never complained about America, expensive bills, blah, 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 all of those things while she was with Justin. So if she was paying bills that time, Why is it surprising to her now that uh, 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 LA is expensive? Why is it surprising to her now? Guys, let's be, let's be saying the truth. Okay? Now, um, we, okay, say, uh, I don't believe all Cora followers. No, Cora, the way she speaks, she speaks like she's struggling. She always creates that impression like, you know, uh -huh, this one, you know, you know, this one, and it, it, just the vibe. You okay? Okay, I thought somebody was calling me. Okay, you know? Okay. So I don't believe all Cora followers knows that she 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 has money. 85000 a month is a lot of money. And I let me tell you guys, she makes that and more. I, I can believe that, right? You know, but at the end of the day, followers have their free money to give it if they want to give. Let's be honest, right? <laughs> so she chose uh, when he was making a plus. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Cora is broken. In what way is Cora broken? Uh, oh, sorry. I understand your question now. The thing is, no one can build your home. Sometimes, this is uh, Ugochi uh, Eunice I'm reading now. Sometimes, the ones we call support system is the same that spoils spoils this. I think you meant to say things. Um, and let me tell... Excuse me. And let me tell our divorce is painful, very painful. Okay. Div divorce is painful. When somebody come out and be smiling, no, it's a lie, you it's painful and people assume because somebody is smiling when you see somebody that is going through stuff don't assume they are doing okay in your general life extend any hand of support or whatever don't just assume they are fine you understand don't just support believe i, I assume they are fine so that's the mistake uh, some people make cora has mental issue what makes you say that crystal um and nancy ume is using cora broken marriage to make money on her page uh -huh. mm. at the end of the day you see Justin came out and did all of these things. And he ended up, excuse me, he ended up benefiting the Obiti families. Let's be honest. Look who they talk through. He ended up benefiting them. Excuse me. If they want to make money, the only thing is, I see, let me tell you guys, my only issue is, if they want to make money, anybody can make money from any drama. If content creators out there can make money from the drama, why shouldn't the Obidis? Honest, this is honesty. Justin too should let him make his own money if he wants to make. Even at this point, I make a post. I made a post the other day. I said, if Justin wants to even come out every a K market day to come and update it, let's, let, let him do it. He made a video to talk about um, what did he even say? He wants to speak his side of the story, something like that. And the video seemed to have done well. Let me tell you, nobody has monopoly of opening mouth. If Cora can speak, let Justin speak too. Because let's not forget, Cora is every time I gave him fifty thousand resettlement. I paid forty thousand in student loan. Uh, if Justin want to come out too and say I paid for her visa to come to America, I paid for this. I was the one footing the bill on. She started saying, "Let him speak too. Let's not guard people. If Cora can speak, let Justin speak. Let me tell you guys. At this point, if Justin want to use this thing to cash out, let him do it. If Justin want to make content about their marriage every single day, let him do it." But the only thing I personally do not support is lies on both sides or cooking up fake stories, cooking up wherever. Just, you know, that person I do not support. Oh, you can have your mouth to lie if you want to lie. Uh -huh. So the same thing with your business. In the name of, you know, okay, this thing, ah, there's money in it. Oh, Nancy wants to make they, Let me tell you guys, do you guys forget? Nancy never hid it. From day one, when Nancy came out, she said it. That her sister made her know that there is money in it. And she said, I am here on Facebook to make money. So what are you going to say about Nancy? So you say Nancy Ume is using Cora broken marriage to make money. She told you herself 
that she came to Facebook to make money. And she started talking about her sister's marriage. She will come out and make a video and attacking Justin. And, you know, whatever. She said it. So, are you surprised? She didn't, she didn't hide it. That she's here to make money. So, at the end of the day, this thing could have gone any other way. Thank God nobody died. If Nancy is making money, they say Nancy has made money, used it to buy a house and uh, rent a property. It's not a bad thing. It's a blessing. Be <laughs> Let's be honest now. It's buying a house, not a blessing, guys. You know, this is the thing. He's buying the house. At the end of the day, whatever came out. Okay, if this story came out and the whole family went to court and everybody became bankrupt. Cora became bankrupt. Justin became bankrupt. Nancy became bankrupt. Everybody, would that be better? Is it not good that they're making money and they're buying property? And uh, the only thing I'm saying, they should not tell lies, fabricate stories because of the money making. If you want to come out tomorrow and say, ah, eh, this is that, hey, share about the story and use it. To, uh, not a day, dear. Let them make the money. But at the same time, you guys, when Justin want to make money from this money, money from the story too, let him make it. Even me, I've said, in, even if Justin want to write me, I'm not buy anybody books. How? Uh, I know. Anyway, if, I'm not going to buy Justin's book. I'm just saying it now. Uh, I didn't buy Cora book. I'm not going to buy. If Justin want to write book, let him write it too. There's nobody that has monopoly over this. Me, if Justin, if you're struggling, you guys, his fans, go and tell him. Justin, if you are struggling financially, if things are tough for you, here, let me give you advice. On Monday, come and tell us the day you met Cora. Where you went, what kind of drink you had. He said they were drunk that night. Tell us, it's a content. Eh? The next, let me tell you guys, <clears throat> on Tuesday, as long as you're telling the truth, people may be able to learn one or two things. I say, okay, this is where you guys got it wrong. I, I will not do that in my own marriage. You, you guys is followers. Please tell him. On Monday, tell us the day you met her. On Tuesday, tell us the day after what happened. And then on Wednesday, come and tell us why there is something every single day. Update us. Make your legit. It's legit money. Make your legit money. Those children need to be fed. If we send the drama, you can make you money. If if Nancy can use the drama to talk about the drama. And make content uh, out of it. Why should why can't uh, Justin? It, there, is, there is not a crime. Let's not forget that it's legit income. That is my own message. So if Justin is suffering, I no get money again for whatever reason. Let him create content. Ah, uh, do you know what life stories is the sweet? Oh, me, I'm somebody that I'm a fan of life stories. Oh, but the problem I have that's why me I don't make long videos. I have hardly have time to watch long videos. <clears throat> Sometimes a lot of this content that I discuss is because maybe I listen to other content creators and they maybe they broke it down and so whatever and it bring my idea to whatever. So how many hours do you have in a day to watch somebody that posted seven, eight times at least one hour each? You get how many hours do you have in a day to watch all of that? You know. So but anyways, let Justin cash out if he needs the money. Is is his life story? If you don't share your life story, who will share it for you? Right? Um. Okay. So let me jump. Let me make sure I, I, I answer every. I mean, I, I go through everybody's comment. I will divorce you and actually filing a divorce. I will divorce you and actually filing a divorce proceeding as the petitioner are two different things. So what's your point, um, Edith? Um, Okoye, I want to be sure I understand you. He didn't file. Maybe he didn't mean it. <laughs> Maybe he didn't mean it. I don't know. Because I was the one that made a video and said, this guy was the one coming and said, I'm divorcing Cora, but he never went for the divorce. Now, Cora eventually did the filing. Maybe he didn't mean it. Maybe he wanted to use it to shake her small. Sometimes couples do all this kind of thing and then they finally go back to that. Another one like. Can I get a like? If you like it, though, if you like my video, like. I'm not going to force anybody. If you like... <coughs> Actually, I've got myself. I'm still in bed, though. A cup of water. <coughs> Excuse me. You know? So maybe he didn't want to, but the way... He now blew out of proportion. Thank you so much for the likes, please. Thank you so much. You know, he now became, uh, got to the point of no return. That was even what we were speaking about. There was somebody, if you guys scroll down to the first comment, the person said she broke up with her husband for four years and her sister didn't want her to go back to that husband. She went back to that husband and she's now with him for 20 years after. You see what I'm saying? So it's possible just wanted to shake her. Maybe it's like nothing else works. Uh, you know, he has been trying to like do whatever to shake her small, you know, fish shake her. He, not, he knows that Cora is into this social media thing. And he felt like the only thing I can get her with is by going to social media because this is where, like this is her, her uh, like a big part. We all know that social media is a big part of Cora's life. 
So he must have said, okay, I can reach her through this biggest thing in her life. He now tried to shake her small. You know, no say go uh, eventually blow to the point to, to get to the point of it's possible. Maybe, maybe that's why he did not file. So because me, I was surprised that he did not file. And he's one talking about divorce. Who first did name calling and who replied? Did you not hear me want you? I said it that I don't know if I'm very behind with the comment. I said it that <clears throat> Justin did name calling. That is not my point. My point is this: the Nancy that said that name calling is not a good thing. The one that she and her husband did. It's possible the husband did the name calling first and she replied. It's possible. Or she did it first, he, he, he replied. Or he did it first, she replied. I don't know. Whatever the case is, they went to dinner to fix that name calling. So it's such a taboo in her marriage. My question remains, why did she do it, that taboo, in her sister's marriage? Why did she not apply the same thing in her sister's marriage? Speak about what was going on, but don't, in, don't include name calling. Right? That's my point. Um, let me see. Oh, Justin brought the whole issue. I already said that. That's what happened. People come later. They don't know where we are with the story. Okay. Justin, uh, Nelly come. Come said Justin brought the whole issue to social media even after the entire OBD family begged him uh, not to do it. See, there was one video I made, and that was the first time I got emotional about this thing. When Cora said that she knelt down and begged him and said, Don't go to social media, I felt so bad. I was like, For her to have begged him, according to her, she said she begged him, <clears throat> he shouldn't have done it. Why? Like, why did you? Why did he have to? We, we agree on that one, right? He started the name calling and brought OBD family into it. You don't know, they get my message. The name calling that Nancy went to dinner with her husband to fix, fix. It's possible it was her husband that did the first name calling. She didn't tell who, she didn't tell us who did the name calling first, but she is preaching that it is a, it is not a good thing in a marriage, right? My question is this: If Nancy is never going to do name calling in her marriage, why is she doing it? Not even in her sister's marriage, her sister's in-laws. She breaks name calling. You were talking about okay, if if okay. It did, she did name calling. She didn't stop at Justin. She went to Justin's family. Justin's mother. Just, Justin's father. Justin's siblings. So the, the name calling, she cannot even let, allow a drop of it in her marriage. She carried a whole river of name calling and poured on the other side. So it means that what she's applying in her marriage, she's not applying in her sister's marriage. And that's what I'm telling that. It is you that, you and I, it is left for us to protect our own marriages. Because some people can bring what they would never dare in their own marriage into your own. They will protect their own at all costs. But they don't pray, place the same priority on yours. It is left for you to praise, 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 <clears throat> place priority on your marriage. Because from what we are seeing, what Nancy implements in her marriage, she didn't implement in her sister's marriage. That is my message here. Uh, hey, I don't know how to say your name. Chai, Chai Yil, so, so who? My daughter, my daughter, Summer, it is not too late for Justin and Cora to get back together if they truly want to. I didn't say it's too late though, uh, but uh, it's not, we're not going to be the ones to tell them to get back together. Now, it's something they have to do, but I'm saying that people have to be careful because sometimes they can, the marriage that could have been resolved can be damaged beyond repair. If Justin ever came to even bring it on social media. It's possible they would have made up and learned from their, their mistakes and be like, okay, you know, this is the way forward. A lady just shared here now. Her marriage broke up for four years. They got back together. And um, what was it called? 20 years later, uh, uh, a bit, 20, a bit, 20 years later, they are still together. You, you know? So, um, what was it called? Um, that's what I said. She told him the child may not be his. Okay. So, that, I think I've heard that before too. If she told him the child may not be his, so why are we going to blame him for doubting the child is his? Let's be honest now. Who, which man would he doubt that the child, the wife is carrying is not his and be happy? Let's be honest. You know, I keep saying it. Point fingers. By the way, anybody that come here and drop red heart on my video. Red heart. Red head on my video. As you are dropping it, just be going. Because me, I will block you. I, I want my content for those of us that want to have a conversation. I rarely have time to do live video, but when I do it, I like it to be a matured conversation. So if you, I don't think I've seen any, but I'm just letting people know. I am one of the fastest blockers, blockers you will find on the internet. As you insult me, block me and go, because I will block you. As you leave red head, block me and go, because I will block you. If you don't like my video, go and watch the one you like. If you don't like this kind of conversation, go and find the conversation you like and engage in that one. 
Okay? Mm-hmm. Um, once she once she cheating, that's that was it. Justin stopped trusting her. Trust is a hey, if you lose trust, hmm. If Justin handled his emotions in the beginning, he would not post anything on exactly. But he, you know, he he like I said, he shouldn't have gone on social media. Even now, if he, if he's even if if he's talking about Cora is making this, whatever Cora became multiplied in, he enabled it. Cora, I don't think Cora had up to this. Um, I don't know how many subscribe subscribers, followers she had before. But the thing Justin did backfired where people will say, you say she they mad. Oh, let's who be the mad person. Let's go and find. They went and check out the mad person and they subscribe. They may subscribe because they love her. They may subscribe because they hate her. That's another thing. So people subscribe because they want to know where your the madness the court, the husband says she has. Let's come and see where the madness will end. And some people will say, Oh no, this he said she's mad. Ah, she's not mad. What was he talking about? So everything Justin did ended up having an opposite effect. If Justin did not blow it up the way he blew it up, the um, money you say she's making, you have enabled it to multiply times 10. If you say whatever, whatever you say, I say, um, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about Justin, he amplified, he amplified it all. He did. You know? Where were you there when she told, okay, that's replying to somebody else. Why didn't he doubt for the first one? This conversation making no sense. Which about about trust? Why didn't he? Why didn't he? The uh, Naimi go ask. Well, somebody said here that he said that he said um, that Cora told him that the child may not be his. Okay, that was why he started doubting. Uh, okay, Cora developed cold feet. Cold fits with marriage before she came to America, but she still decided to go ahead. Uh, if you develop cold feet now, you walk. Let me tell you guys. Let's not make excuses for unfaithfulness. Let's let's be honest. Unfaithfulness is unfaithfulness. You're a married woman. You're whatever. She was already married. That is, that's just the point. She was already married. I feel she wanted the man to say, "I know they do again," but he decided to forgive her. No, no, no. She waited. Why did she? Why didn't she tell him she was unfaithful while she was in Nigeria and he was uh, in in America? She waited until she she came to America. It was I don't even know how long after before she told him she was ever unfaithful. She should have told him why she was in Nigeria. He was she was unfaithful, and then we cannot say oh. So even after she told you, you still went and brought her over, but she didn't tell him. Or she has, she has crossed over to the to the US. Let's not uh, let's call a spade a spade, not a gardening uh, instrument, a big gardening tool. I feel she wanted to okay. Uh, who knows what dynamic of that marriage was from get go? Maybe that cheating hung hung over them from day one i believe that cheating I, I believe i i believe i may be wrong because don't forget this is what we think it's possible that it was always there at the back of his mind like i was given an example where i said you know if you say oh peter can never do such and such and such and you can vouch for peter i can never do that and then the day you peter does that thing you said peter can never do you will never be able to vouch for peter again because you know that okay ah peter has done it before so i can over you know what I me mean? so that's the thing about trust why are we why are we holding Justin to a different standard, knowing that if he was a Nigerian man, none of us would be blaming him in any way? Oh, my sister, Monica. Um, he, he, he. See, sometimes when I want to read the name, I have to, all the languages I know, I want to make sure what language it is. because so, It'd be like Ibu at the end. It'd be like uh, Bini in the beginning. Ibu, Ibu ni weka. Ibu ni weka. Ibu, Ibu ni we, Ibu ne weka. Ibu ne weka. It won't be like Benini. It won't be like Ibu Nim. Okay. Now, that is the truth. Let's be honest. Cora can come out. I made a post yesterday. And I said, if Cora can show the students more, more, play their voices, why can't Justin do the same? You see what I'm talking about? Monica, let's be honest. People have chosen sides. So people that have chosen Cora's side, Cora can never do wrong by their standard. Uh, they can never do wrong to them. I mean, for, as far as they're concerned. People that have chosen Justin, Justin can never do wrong. It's hard to find people that are just in the middle and say, okay, whenever Justin does something wrong, I say, okay, what Justin did now is wrong. What he did yesterday was right. What he did today, what Cora did today is wrong. What he did, no, uh, what he did yesterday was right. No, they are chosen side and they will stick by it. They, they said the court said they should never show the children. But Cora has shown the children in 
the back of the child the child uh, uh, here child there she has shown but justin has never showed him for his showed them for a second somebody said he he showed his, he posted the video to uh, he sent the video to a blogger let me tell you guys we can speak about what we know for sure they came out cora came out and told her that the court told them not to show the children anymore and cora was dancing and celebrating and a lot of you celebrated with her and then the same cora came out and started complaining crying out that eh, eh, yeah i feel caged i can't this the same person that celebrated this one telling yes there's another good example when you think one person is depressed the other person is happy cora that came out and celebrated that the children are no longer going to be online that you guys were happy for her you danced with her she was the same person that came to cry out even though she was been she has been saying uh, she, she was very happy she was the person that came out and cried out that she suffocating is uh, this this is a uh, kini those of you that thought she was happy it wasn't until she came out to now tell you complain about the restriction that you now knew but you were celebrating with her that's what i'm telling you guys don't go with the outward smiling or whatever don't go by that now um Okay, Justin has obeyed, but people came in the comment and they are still saying some. Okay, um, one of my sisters uh, left a comment and said the ban has been lifted, but I haven't seen where the ban has been lifted. Because let me tell you, if that ban was lifted, oh, no, she didn't say it's, she is lifted. She said she think that the the ban. But if if it's lifted, Cora would have shown the full child. Why is she doing conny conny? Right now, if it was Justin that has been showing the children the way Cora has, I bet you guys all hair would have broke loose. But Justin has obeyed. Let's be honest, guys. Talking about uh, holding back to a standard, Monica, you spoke the truth. Um, um, Nancy that told Justin to get out of the house or leave the house for peace to rain or whatever. Let's be honest. She did the right thing. I'm always going to say it because I'm always going to say it. It's good, it's good that they went their separate ways and ended each other. Like Nancy gave a good advice. But the only thing I, I, I fought her for is when people were not blaming Justin for leaving after three days, after one day, after one hour. She didn't tell them that I was the one that told him to leave. That is one. But let me read your comment again. Yeah. But let's be honest on the other hand. If Justin was a Nigerian man, Nancy would not have the liver, the courage, the guts to tell a Nigerian man to leave his house for a year in Nigeria. If I have seen the conversations between Justin and Nancy, um, yes, yeah, Justin and Nancy, Nancy, Nancy was controlling that guy. Who, and the guy was almost basically saying, yes, ma, yes, ma. He was basically, which Nigerian man you going to talk to like that? Your in-law. Your in-law, Nigeria man, you go to tell and say left, right, left, right. Le you go to do like, uh, what do you call it? How they talking about? Soldier, go, soldier, come. Do, do. No, no, no. So our people, they, you see, you're kind of honest now that you just spoke. Very few people are willing to be honest like you, uh, Monica. You know what I mean? They are, they, let's be honest. Let's blame Justin where he has gone wrong. Naim bring and come social media. But there are some areas where I would be like, Cora has gone far. There are some areas, there are some things. Let me tell you guys. There are some areas where I feel, okay, okay, Justin started this, whatever. But there are some areas where when Cora speaks, and I'm like, okay, this is not what she said one month ago. This is not what she, there's some inconsistencies that I have seen in Cora's stories. I have seen, to be honest, a lot of inconsistencies, right? So, okay, let me see. I want to make sure everybody has a voice. Um, Yes, okay. Oh, that was when, oh my goodness. I'm so behind. We can hear you. Hey, well, hey, just, I'm so behind. Justin did not want to make the marriage work. Cora even bought him a cake to try to make. See, all this cake, uh, no cake. Marriage is, not, you see, marriage is not all those kind of, um, you, uh, 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 make up and, re and he refused. Let me tell you guys, if there was something that caused the problem, is that root cause of the problem that they're supposed to resolve? Cake is, is nothing in comparison to what exactly was the problem. You understand? So until you resolve that root cause of the, cause of the problem, cake will not, will not solve it. It will not solve it. If a plant is dying from the root, if you like it, eh, take all the whatever and only water the leaves of that plant, that plant will still die. Or else you go to the root and water that root where it's dying from. You get my point? I am so behind. When I asked people whether they could hear me, oh my goodness. Okay, let me fly through your comments because I really want everybody to have a voice. Oh, my just... Even just in last video, he almost tear up. They are both hurting big time. I can bet you, it's not easy, especially, especially for the fact that it's happening in public eye. That's you need saying it. Especially for the fact that it's, it's happening in public eye. Let me tell you guys, eh? 
the way I'm looking at Cora, personally, I do not see Cora like someone that wants to stay single. Let me tell you, marriage can end and a woman, people say, who will marry you, who will marry you, or whatever. A woman can decide, I want to live single for the rest of my life. And there is beauty in that as well. There is happiness. Not a, let me tell you, marriage is not by force, so, right? So people can choose a single life happily ever after. Single, happy, every, happy ever after life. But when I look at Cora, personally, I do not see her like someone that wants to live single. I think she wants to be in a relationship. And I think I may be wrong, you know. Let me tell you guys something else. If you look at Cora, right? Cora is the kind of a, 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 a woman that her kind of men, no plenty. <laughs> let me put it like that. Her kind of men are not, they're not, they're not a lot of men that are her kind of men in the world. One, she has to find a kind of man that likes the way she dresses because not all men like that. And then at this point, let me tell you another tricky thing. At this point, she's at a point where she has gained a lot financially, right? And I, I do not see Cora like someone that would want someone that is not financially where she is or even more. I do not see Cora like someone that want to take a man and foot the man. Let me tell you, a lot of Nigerian celebrities, they marry a man that has nothing, no shishi. And the man, they feed and clothe and shelter and everything that man. As in, the man becomes, you know, you see, in our Nigerian contest, it is a woman that should have the role of having, having, um, sorry, uh, maybe be at home and have no source of income or whatever. It's not something our society frowns at it. Cora is not the kind of woman that wants to marry a man that will come and depend on her. Okay, let me, I'm going to say this, another unpopular opinion. I personally, personally, from what I see, I do not see Cora like someone that is generous with her money. I do not see that. You can see Nancy say in her their marriage, they do money together, together, together. I do not see Cora like someone that would do money together. Everybody is different. I would, I, okay. I do, I do not believe in, personally do not believe in joint account because one, I'm, I'm not wasteful, but at the same time, when I want to spend, I don't want to be asking somebody before I spend. This is me. I'm not a fan of joint account, right? But even as someone that doesn't do joint account, I'm that kind of a person that my man can have my card and he can buy, he can buy things if he wants. Even my children can use, I see money as, how I see money is like, it's almost like food in the fridge. People don't need permission to go and grab food in the fridge. Just go and eat. Do you know what I mean? It, it, that money is just a necessity. That's how I see it. So, like my 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 children, my children, for example, oh mom, I'd like to buy this shoe. Can I buy this shoe? If I say yes, they just take my card and they buy it online. Because it's is a is a need. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, I okay, let me not do it because I have so much in my head that I I I, I believe I believe is knowledge. I'm not be small picking. And it's not knowledge because I mean wise past, but because of experience or what you have seen. Because I'm the kind of person, if I see people's story, I grab messages for me that I store it in part of, part of my brain and it stays there. When something happens, I'll be like, hey, when it happened for so and so, see what it happened. Oh, sorry, pigeon English. When so -so, such and such happened, this is what happened. I always grab messages from everything that I see, right? So about being single, I do not see Cora like someone that wants to be single. Cora is the kind of woman that wants a man. She wants a man to pamper her she and I'm, okay to a great extent i do not even think the kind of a man she wants is going to be uh, it's, gonna, it's not hardly going to be a black person it's not about the uh, race it's about the um, you know the way you both there's a way white people are and there's a way black people are our cultures mold us in a lot of ways so if if she's, if she's ever going to end up with a black person it's going to be a black person with the mentality if that makes sense Oh, sorry, Maybe, let me stick with English. It's going to be a black person with a, 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 a white culture in them from what I have perceived, right? So, and at the same time, person like Cora, to, if she wants a husband today, she can get it. If she go to Nigeria and find some guys that are just, you know, one young guy that has never made any money and wants a husband. Because the same way Nigerian men, let, let's be honest though, Nigerian men will leave all the women abroad. And go to Nigeria and go and marry one innocent girl and, mar and bring. Because they want that innocence. And they want that, you know, the one where they are brought on to open eye. And they, some of them find a good wife and they come back and they have amazing marriage af uh, uh, after. And they are the ones that are the breadwinners and the one provided for this girl they brought from Nigeria and everything. If Cora wants a man right now in Nigeria, she can go to Nigeria and pick. But that man, in most cases, the men, no rich man in Nigeria, you can come to Nigeria and pick and say you are, no, it's those boys that are still 
You understand? They are looking for the way to leave Nigeria. And some of them may are ready to come and love you for real, for real, though. But some are, but there's a lot of amazing cases. I know ladies that have left abroad that went to Nigeria and married a young guy that has no job, you know, and bring and they live happily ever after. Or some that have job. But I'm just speaking about Cora as someone that's so financially up there. Right? So there are a lot of things. Let me tell you. You know, there are a lot of things that in some ways. Cora and Justin's were a match because how many men go come they let their wife they dance with Yash and um, part of their Yash showing and skimpy clothes? Not all men, not all men will, but Justin was he was there, he was accepting of it. You understand? So, the kind of if you put all of a lot of these things together, okay, now Cora needs a man that's, that has made it because of what I've seen, I don't think she's the one that wants to, she's the kind of man that is willing to. Okay, I'll give you guys an example. You know, the lady called. Gemina, or is it Gemina or Jemina or something like that? From what I have heard, or what I, uh, blogs have covered, the husband doesn't. From what I've, the husband was not the one with the money. Jemina is the one with the money. Am I making sense now? She's the one with the money. But I, when I look at Cora, I don't think from what I'm perceiving because I'm going to say it's my uh, my observation. I may be wrong. I don't see Cora as the kind of person I want to take a man and be responsible for the man. Cora holds her money really tight, and some people are like that. They hold their money really tight. Her sister, I, I think I read her sister herself. They say they plan their money together, whatever, and all of that. You know what I mean? They plan their money together. But let's be honest, though. The same sister now said. That when Cora, she said, when did Cora start making money? Was it not last year? So she said that last year. So that means Cora started making money last year or the year before, right? Now, and she said, when she started making money, we have to tell her to come and invest. We have to, and I thought to myself, the same Nancy that I say, oh, that's another point. If you process what I'm saying, you will know that I'm telling you guys a lot of truth on both sides. The same Nancy that says she and her husband plan their money together. is not telling you guys as well that when the sister started making money, the family told her to invest. So it was not it was not uh, Cora and her husband that decided what they would do with their money or with her money. It is her family in Nigeria that are telling her what to do. But in Nancy's case, Nancy and her husband decide what they do with the money they make. You know, they see the, you know, they see the disparity there. Okay, let me see. Justin, even Justin last video, he almost tear up their boat. I didn't watch I, I you know the way sometimes people share their content up and down and you get clip here and there. So I didn't see any emotional part, but maybe you that maybe you watch the full. But they are both hurting. So yeah, that's why I went to okay. They can still get back together if they want. Leave the drama uh, uh, leave the brother. It's possible, it's possible. He says, someone stop dreaming. Me, dream. Cora will not go back to him. I didn't say she will. And I'm not advising her to. It's her life. But I'm saying, a woman that said everything that she has said about him, to come out and say, this is the dress I wore the day, the day I met him. And she spoke about it in a very warm way. And on his birthday, she wore exact same cloth. Ha. And she even said, Baba June, are you watching? Why are you addressing him in such a loving way? You know, so you know they her mind. So I don't know. Knowledge is her life at the end of the day. <clears throat> Oh, oh, Monica said, go tell a Nigerian man you slept with. Uh, go, okay, go tell a Nigerian man you slept with another man. We all, he okay, go tell a Nigerian man you slept with another man. We all he here know the marriage is over immediately. Okay, let's tell ourselves the truth. Our people know they like to tell the truth. Uh, or, you know, some people, or not our people, some people don't like to tell the truth. Um, okay, um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to make sure. The people that are arguing with themselves, I always leave them to argue. Justin didn't want the marriage saved. He came public so he would not go back. Um, it's, it's possible. It's possible. But you see, little, little people that end their marriages, that is their thinking at that moment. That is their thinking at that moment. But later on, thinking can change. But it depends on how they handle the separation, separation period. Don't make decisions fast. Like when I share my, my marriage story, right? My decision, everything, decision I made and everything I, you know, I, I, I never, everything was never overnight. It was a problem that went on for years. For years. And I looked and there was no end in sight. There was, you know me, when I now began to, you're about to say, para, para. When I began to lash out and began to, it was something that, when I'm talking about years, I'm talking about years. And, you know, I, I sat and I processed my decision thoroughly. You understand? So, but I'm talking about, um, okay, the, 
Justin didn't want to do what should say if he came up. Yeah, that's what he said. He said he knew that if he didn't come out public, and at the same time, I was going he can come out and say, My marriage is over, we're going our separate ways, we're for unreconcilable differences. But the smear campaign that he launched was what I was not a fan of. Because I say, even if you no longer love a man or a woman, remember that their children, who are also your children, love their parents. So it's no longer about respecting the ex, it's about respecting the children, your children. Because if are, your children's friends come tomorrow to come and watch and hear that you say that the mother is a whore, the mother, oh sh the mother is a W, the mother is the this, the mother, how will you, how, do you understand what I'm trying to say? So that's that. But people sometimes think they will never go back and later want to go back. Okay. Uh, Justin will not go back to Cora. <laughs> Cora will, Cora will, Cora will go back to Justin because she knows that being single is affecting her. Uh, who is calling me? I'm on the, I'm, I'm on a live video. Shoot. Oh my back. Guys, one second. I'm on a live video. Oh. Guys, give me one. Okay. Missed call. Oh, guys, give me one second. Let me see what. Uh, sorry. How do you mute this thing? I don't do live, so well, well, let Literally, give me one second. My daughter is trying to call me. Maybe she knows I'm alive, but she wanted to say something. But let me just ask her what she wants. And what, literally, one minute. Sorry, guys, I'm back. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, Justin wanted. Uh, okay, Justin will go. Okay, Justin will not go back to her. Cora will go back to Justin because she knows that being single is affecting her in every way. She herself told her fans to hold on to their marriages on their. On her trip to Vegas. Okay. She don't they give them hint be that then. I, I didn't watch that old boy. So I would say she don't they give them hint. But I personally do not believe Cora wants to be single. I do not believe that. Oh I, I do not believe that for one second. She doesn't want to be single. So um and and like I said, because of there are a lot of things that makes her choice of men very limited. Because she has to like I said, um what's it called? I already talked about the kind of man she she if you want or need safe at this point because what i say as in the you know you have to find who suits you not every man will like a woman that dresses like that not every man would want the kind of some of the content where like you know throwing leg up with very skimpy clothes where you know what i mean that side of the body is kind of showing a bit not uh, there are a lot of parts of her that it wouldn't be a, so at the end of the day it kind of like streamlines to i don't have the word to use you know and i've seen i don't think she's the kind of woman that wants to be you know, by herself. Um, and another thing is, I think her and Justin were a match in some ways, not in all ways. In some ways, I think when it comes to finance, I think Justin is more generous. Think. I think he's more generous because let me tell you guys, for a man to go to Nigeria and bring a woman from Nigeria and fund the whole thing, bring her over and was the one responsible for the bills and everything while she was focusing on make, breaking through the her dreams and he was footing all the bills while she was chasing all of that for if they've been married for like let's say five years and he was one fitting the bills for th three years or whatever do the calculation you understand so you have to be that but i think cora is more like you know she holds on money very tightly do you know what i mean she holds on money very very tightly you hardly hear justin complain about the price of things like you, you hardly hear him complain about this price or this lunch is expensive or you hardly ever hear but cora does that a lot and that's how some people are they're just like a you, you just have a, what they call akagom they naturally just hold on and hold on <clears throat> to money like that so uh, i think i read that comment um he left he left sorry he left there was still room for reconciliation but nancy came in with insulting the family and that burnt the bridge the the bridge you see that's another thing about that and that's what i'm saying that when nancy talked about name calling she was telling the truth about name calling name calling is not good in a marriage because even when you're not reconciled how do you forget the name that you were called you know what i mean so if god for, um, no not god for me nobody knows that's what i meant to say nobody knows but <clears throat> No, let me know. I wanted to say God. God, I don't want to talk about God forbid something happened in Nancy's marriage. Okay, let's say if Nancy and and sorry, if Cora and Kini were even, we don't know. Let's say they ever reconciled. What face would Cora um, would Nancy ever use to face her in laws? Because she has already shown them what she thinks about. She already showed them what. She, sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm back. Um. Okay. Sorry, I forgot what I was saying. Um. So even if they were ever to heal. 
Na, okay, Nancy didn't know what he called the name, but she has shown them what she thinks about them because she has spoken as in they are bus drivers. So that means all these years, she has always looked down on them for being bus drivers. She has, uh, um, I mean, bus driver, uh, truck driver, and being farmers. And just think, I'm so even surprised that even Nancy's father is a farmer too. Why? Okay. And then she, she talked about they, they are just hairdressers, they are illiterates. You know, so if, if we don't know, if they were ever to come back, how, which face you go to face your in-laws after you have shown them what you think about them as individuals? And I'm, that's why I'm saying that she is right when she said that name calling is not good. But the question is, she knows it's not good. Why did she extend name calling to her sister's marriage? Why? <clears throat> okay, sorry. Let me see. I skipped. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. I'm behind. Yes, she said that. Oh, wow. See comments as they fly. So forget. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. What comment was that? Sorry, guys. Oh wow. She was the one that moved out. Oh, I am so behind with your comment. Cora said just also move, always moves money out of mm -hmm. She didn't say always. It's only that once that we know. I don't know. We didn't okay. Let me see. see. I'm gonna rush to the comment and I need to start rounding up. Oh, uh, to name back. The biggest mistake Justin made was going live. Yeah, true. Oh my goodness. Oh my I am so behind. Okay. How I'm going to read more of your comments rather than speak now. Uh, how was we? Uh, <laughs> I'm so behind with your comments. Somebody say, okay. now, now, wow, but Justin also cheated many times. Uh, but you see, the cheating, she being accurate, according to her, now she first cheat, according to her. So what if his own cheating was like, oh, she did it, I might as well do it too. What if he never forgave in his heart and he felt like, the, the uh, you know, okay, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me read from, the, did Cora actually tell him that? Yay. I never knew I'm so behind with the comments. So, Marco, vlogs, you are not saying true. Why is bloggers trying to change the narrative? Be, be, ah, jeez. See how I've, okay, I think I've missed some comment now. Okay, CC, you see the comment like this is, you know why your comment, comment now is meaningless? Because you didn't say exactly what I have said. He said, So, Marco's vlogs, uh, you are not saying true. Why is bloggers trying to change the narrative? Narrative about what? So that I know what you're talking about, then, then I can address it. Temila, <clears throat> Adam said, I respected the Dean's family. Sorry, I respect the Dean's family. I respect them too because, ah, do you know how long they have been insulted and they have never come out to say a word? A word. Excuse me. If this is what illiteracy is, I would choose to be an illiterate. And be honest. Nancy has called them illiterates. But if this is how illiterates behave, ah, Biko, I want to be illiterate. Because we that went to school that are supposed to be exposed and more cultured, when we now become the ones that come out and speak in a dirty way, what has our education actually achieved? This family, un uneducated as they call them, they have shown more class. Be honest. They have shown more class than the Nancy that says she's educated. Let's be honest. They have not, till today, they have not replied. Ah, good. For not, this. okay, I respect the Dean's family for not distracting themselves on social media. Uh, another one said, the only reason is using some of her own Okay, that's a reply to somebody. So I don't want to go to that because I don't know what they're replying about. If Justin were to be a Nigerian, um, can Cora's family try this rubbish with... Of course not. Yeah. If the families were Nigeria, it would be Cold War by... Is it Cold War? World War 10. I just... Shh. I'm sorry, guys. I'm too, I'm too loud. Um, uh, one of my adult children has um, a work, a work uh, Zoom conference. So she was telling me that I'm to be quiet. Okay, so... <clears throat> If it was two fellow Nigerian family, the Obi family for don't hear that because he told them they brought the whole madness from two sides. If a hot, to, if a hot, let's be honest. So Temelade was right. I, I, I agree. Uh, I said if uh, if don't agree, if I think it's, I don't agree because their entire family has always been on social media. I don't know what that comment was trying to say, Temelade. Why it's his business? How much money she or she, she or she is making? Uh, I think he was trying to tell Cora fans that Cora is not poor as you guys think. Cora only, oh, why is it his business? Oh, that's another story of another day. Cora only used Justin to get to America. That's another topic that can be, we can debate about. Did Cora actually tell him that at the end of the day, both of them know what actually happened in their marriage? Did Cora tell him that? What is the that? More than the finish in a sentence so I will know exactly what you, because your comments can, if, we, if I see your comment, I don't know exactly what you're referring to. Thank you to those that just gave me a love heart. I just got love heart and a like there. Thank you. Now, wow. But Justin also cheated. Okay, I already replied to you. Uh, answered you. He was also unfaithful. So they are both at fault. Uh, when 
you talk about cheating yeah which i have talked about uh, justin's cheating but I, i'm you know it's another debate so people can feel like okay because cora broke his trust is why he decided that you know it's possible the marriage was already over in his mind because of that first unfaithfulness uh which cora has said that she did um okay let me fly to the comment cake the root of the problems needs oh you even said what i said Tamila Day said what I said about the cake doesn't solve the problem. Marriage is not for the faint hearted. I saw a lady the other day on was it Instagram. She she made a video and she was crying that she's married, she's 30 something and she's still single. She has no kids. I say people who don't marry, they try to run out of it. People that are single want that's life. You, that place where you never reach is where you want to go. And when you go there, she said not a really dead. But let me tell you guys, marriage is a beautiful thing. Especially if you find somebody that you love each other, respect each other. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Marriage is sweet though. I will not lie you. Mm -hmm. Me, I can't lie. It's sweet though. Mm -hmm. Cora dresses like a street seller. Street seller. Um, that's Crystal. Mike Joseph said, how we know... Okay, let me see. Oh, oh, okay. How we how we know she had cold feet? Don't forget when I speak, maybe your friends, what else? I will never use the word I know. I will say I think. I feel like my opinion. So I have never said it's fact. It is what I perceive or what I I I notice or what I think. You understand? So I never use the word no. If you are referring to me, she told him that she she told him that she went on one date with someone else before they even got married nobody choosing side choosing choosing side cause just justin justina just okay uh i think it's the justin already showed the children with lolo and more people for money and saying you can't say you see we all the things we are addressed there are things we see on their videos so we don't know if somebody showed the a picture of the children we don't know where they came from you cannot tell for 100 percent certainty but that, that aside right okay for more for more money for 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 more people for money and saying it was his mom who did that what if it is? We don't know. I don't know because I don't know this part of this story now. But the thing we know for a fact that they said, the judge said, the court said he should not show the children. And so far, he has not shown the children. And uh, what's the court now? Uh, in their videos. And Bokora has been showing them in, in whatever way she has been showing them. So that's one thing we know for a fact. And um, for example, now what if Cora sent the video to a friend? She has the right to send the video to a friend. Let's not forget that. And if friend now post it, it's not Cora that posted it. Uh, okay, let me see. But you are trying to choose sides. Tell me the, can you tell me the side that I chose now? Let me know. Let me let me let me get you. Tell me the child that, ch side that I chose. But you are trying to ch choose sides. She told him to leave cause they are fighting in front of you. Maybe you just joined us already. Said that if Nancy can control a grown man like that, it shows you that okay, okay. If Nancy can control a grown man like that, so what's the difference between his mother and his ex-wife? What does that mean? So that means his ex-wife and his mother were controlling him. Is that what you're saying? Make your points clear so that we can read it and understand. Look how much control Lolo have over him. How does Lolo have control over him? And what about Flora that has full control of him as well? You you were saying Cora will be the look for look or act like she wants to live as a single. Did you even watch this video? You saying Cora will be the look or act like she wants to live as a single woman. Is that what I said? I never say that. But what about Justin as well? Who was sleeping around? Have naked woman coming? Uh, uh, please watch the video and come and comment very well because I don't know where you're coming. Did Cora want to stay in that? Did Cora want to stay in that marriage? Yes. Justin thought his behavior would frustrate Cora to her, to her knees, but the contrary was the case. Justin is simply frustrated with Cora's sudden independence. Cora is not a saint, but Justin is very vindictive. I tell you, the two of them. Get, at least you balance it. They, are, they have their own whatever. So you're saying he had the right to spend money on female and, tra and travel to go sleep around with, with different women. What, what, who is this Mike Joseph? I think he's a female anyway. <clears throat> he's a female because... Yeah, what's it called? It's actually Mike Joseph. Your comment doesn't it doesn't even align with my video. You are saying jo Justin had the right to spend money. Where is that comment coming from? With her type personality, she can't be with a typical black man. No, Kara cannot. Not even with a Nigerian man. Because I don't know how many Nigerian men that you can, you can, that will be, that it's hard for typical Nigerian culture to bring a woman like that home. The way she dresses. Let's be honest. Right? It's not, it's not something that, Kara have even said it, that America is where she's free. Right? That's why I was saying that she would need a, a, a Nigerian that is 
really westernized or grew up in a, is a um, uh, American culture, white culture kind. But even the, let me tell you guys, even the Justin, that even brings me back to this. There was a video they made. I came across it a while back. Last year, I came across this video where Justin said about his wife's dressing. He said, um, well, there are places he would not like her to dress like that. If they are going to a church, if they are going to a church, if they are going to, um, he said this, an all white gathering, that thing there is big. If they are going to an all white gathering, and he also said if they are going to like a posh gathering. So if you look at that, he's basically saying that Cora's dressing is not posh. It's not class, it is classless. That video, it was a video, those of you that know it, it was a video where Cora was wearing like a bikini, uh, not, not like she was wearing a bikini. And she said, and the, the June was a tiny baby then, and Justin was sitting by her side, and they were speaking about, it was a question and answer video. And Cora was speaking about, oh, this bikini, she had it before, even before she had Junie, and she's happy that it still fits and all of that. And then at the point, Junie was choking in that video. In that video, they asked him, and he said it. So it means that even Justin is not 100% comfortable with her dressing. I was even surprised, and the text message between him and the sister, and uh, Cora's sister, he said uh, to Cora's sister, okay, look at this video now, of uh, this picture now. Is it okay for her to post this on the internet? So that means he was not even 100%. So it's confusing on that area. But at the same time, if a man says that the, wife, the way his wife dresses is not good for a, an all-white gathering, a posh gathering, like a people of class. So that means that her dressing is only good for black ghetto environment. That's basically what it means. You know? Okay, let me see. Nobody can tell what Cora Obidi want and who she is and who said what she wants. People ask. Okay. Um, um, is it, oh, you see, somebody is even referring to, replying to that and say, Mike, just have listened to the video with understanding. Just, there are some people you just know that there's no point because the marriage, okay. Okay, the marriage, the marriage are over. I'm reading exactly how you wrote it. There are no turning back. The biggest mistake Justin made was going live with, with it. His motives were evil. I said it already. And all over Cora. And all over Cora separate bank account while he was um, the joint account. Let me not say the words. Okay, basically saying um, the because I don't know some we're censored nowadays on social media. Uh, the joint account, uh, but the only time they talk about joint account, Cora talked about the joint account being tampered with, was after the divorce when she said he took five thousand. I've never heard if there's another time she said he took money from it. How did the right? Uh, okay, but the question then, if you're going to talk about a joint account, right? If Cora did not have a job for the first three years she was in the country and they had a joint account, who was putting money in it at that time? It means it was Justin that was putting money in it all that while. If Cora had no job for the first three years she was with him in that America, in that same LA, and he was footing all the bills, all, all the bills, is there anything really wrong for when the wife now finally started making money to also foot some? Uh, is a question. Are you guys saying that basically a woman should never foot any bills? The gem, gen, Genmina in, in Nigeria that is twerking too. She's the one bankrolling the whole family project now. She's the one with the money. But her marriage is intact. Her marriage is intact. Uh, well, as we see. Did Cora, Cora do the right thing too? Open her own account. That's no problem. Because me, as I said, I'm, I'm personally not a fan of joint account. Justin must just move on better. Move on better his life for the kids. True. Both of them should move on. But a few days ago, Cora said she still talked about, she was talking about uh, Airbnb. And how Airbnb, Airbnb, white people are fake. They will smile to your face. And what did she do? She talked about Justin. I said, did you know, guys not see it in my divorce? Did you know? She brought up Justin again. So you guys be honest. So she can bring him up. But when Justin makes Pim justice, when Justin makes Pim, oh, stop talking about your ex. But she can bring him up and you guys don't tell her not to talk about him. Do you know how many times we've heard about her talk about how much she's, she paid in her divorce? She said it to her, her friend, the, the guy, the, the guy that does videos that has long hair. What was it? Um, August, Augustine or something like that. 
She said it to him. Do you know I paid him? Do you know how many times she has said it on her live video that she paid 50000 for divorce uh, uh, settlement? But the time that Justin make pin, if you guys are okay for her to talk about it sometimes, I like, let me tell you guys, I'll say it again. If Justin want to come every, every morning and talk about the marriage, let him talk about it now. Let him do it too. Because if one person can talk about it sometimes, the other person can decide, okay, you know what? I want to talk about it too. Um, Justin was, okay. Uh, okay. Um, uh, black man will never put up with her. Um, now, Ibo man fit her. I already said it that is typical, you know. Somehow, I hope you I hope you mm -mm. Somehow, I hope you I don't understand it. So I hope you had your fine. I hope you had your we please rewrite that comment. I don't understand it. Because uh, Justin always moves money out of the joint account and sends her out of the apartment living. <laughs> I never heard that anyway. I never heard her say it. Leaving her stranded. Nigeria man. There was a one that I what did I I think they said in her book that she, she he kicked her out and he gave her money to go to a hotel. So it means that at that point, she had no money. If Justin was giving her money to be in a hotel, no, no, you guys are not being honest. If at that time, I'm, not, I'm never going to support it. I don't even understand the full story. I heard somebody talk about it, right? And they said, um, they were analyzing her book. Um, oh, I've mentioned her name before now. Okay, let me just continue, right? Um, oh my God, this, uh, okay. She, okay, and he gave her money to go to a hotel, blah, blah, blah. But that means at that time she had no money and he was the one funding the family. Nigerian men don't. So how can he then, he, he gave her money. Okay, let me just. Nigerian men don't like to divorce their wives. Nigerian men don't like to divorce their wives. Uh, so there's no divorce in Nigeria. Is that what you're saying? Moenike said Nigerian men don't like to divorce their wives. Um, she was the one that moved out because that uh, because she that the apartment was too expensive. Uh, he, Mike Joseph, Karabidi loved Justin Dean. Justin Dean was okay with it. So what's the problem? Cause he's eating the money she was making. Like I said, the way you speak about their their lives, you know more about them them than I know more about them. But you will not care, man. You are telling me now that he she loves him, and you me are you who can know about their lives the most? I talk about what they posted. But you are telling me now, you know, you know, Kara Hart, go, 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 because you're not even living in their house, you're living in her heart. Abby, like I said, the way you speak, you live in the, than themselves and know exactly what they, you act like you never. Are you okay? Okay, Mike, Joseph, you better like say it's time for you to leave. Seriously. You better say, say, you act like you make no mistake. Where did I ever say I make no mistakes? Where did I say that? Did I not say marriages have problems? All marriages have problems. But there are ways they eventually, so people may end up reconciling, so people may never, did I not say that? Well, it's always um, money with him. It was always about money with him. But he was the one that brought her abroad with his own money. He was the one that was funding her until when did Facebook start paying? And it was one, uh, according to Cora herself, her first music video was paid by Justin. So what is your point? Now, Cora said that, not me. He, her first ever music video when she came to America, he paid for her music video. She was not what she has known. She, she, she said it that he never discouraged her to pursue her dreams. She said it. So what's your point? It's always about money with him, but like you know how Cora used her money and how she plans to use it. Well, from what I said, I said from what I see, she looks like, don't forget I always say, she looks like the type that holds on tightly to money. She always gives us the impression from her views, videos, about, oh, bills, complain, complain. She complains a lot. And I'm speaking about what I see, what she has said. Mm. Okay, let me fly through this comment because I'm going to round up soon. We shouldn't also forget, Oibo mentality is different from ours in every way, in a lot of ways. People divorce and go their separate ways, but this has become very toxic. You know why? Because he came online. And Justin brought it online. That is his biggest mistake he has to live with. Um, all in all, this is Monica's comment. All in all, Nancy is the one that destroyed the very last straw. I, I think I can say that. Nancy's contribution could have been less toxic that, than it became. It could have been. I'm being honest. It was, no. It, her contribution could have been less. I'm not saying don't come out and say whatever. But the way she went, she came. Cora from the beginning was very calm. But 
Nancy came with a very destructive energy. This is my opinion. You can have yours. All right? Very, very. The only one that was matured at the beginning is Cora. And I always give it to Cora. Am I loud? Am I loud? Okay, sorry. I need to put my voice down. All in all, Nasty is the one that destroyed the very last show. Okay, that's Monica's comment. Let me fly. I hate when someone tries to act like you are the you you are for the truth. Okay, now it's time for Joseph to go. Guys, give me a second to block Joseph. Um Okay. Everybody say goodbye to Joseph, please. Do me a favor and just say bye, Joseph. Mike Joseph, that's her name. She has to go because she's not in for the conversation. Then she can go. Those of us that want to have a conversation can have it. I always say it. I keep it very simple. Um, yes, she said that. Cora said if she were to be still married, she wouldn't be going through some of the things she's going through now. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> she even stated that this is Temila Desari. I like to be saying people's name. And so, you know, the comment I made, in, she even said that Justin was the only person who supported her dreams and makes it come to real reality. Oh, her father never supported her dreams. Her sister didn't because even her sister said it and said, oh, you know, they, they were never close. She and they were not close. And she said something about, there was a way Nancy said it. I, I can't quote correctly. I tried to all make sure I, I say, she said something like, uh, you know, growing up, we're kind of two different kind of people. So. <laughs> oh my goodness this thing eh, if people are going to be honest so the only person that followed her and supported her, and if you look at that video uh, when she wore the dress she said she wore the day she met justin it was not showing her show if you really look at it though uh -huh, it was showing i think cleav cleavage but it was long like trouser you know showing ash you know just there like okay there was cleavage and that's it but anyway she said that justin was the only one that really supported her dreams. She's the one that, with her own, this is what I'm, I'm, what I'm saying. If you're watching me, I'm saying something. Remember, I'm saying what she said or what Justin says or what Cora said. So we're going with that and we're analyzing and we're grabbing the messages in them. Okay? Fly through this comment. Um, okay, I'll read those people that are fighting. Calling Justin's family names is totally rude and uncalled for. Exactly. Um... um uh, Tamila J. Adam, she will end up with black black man, evil people everywhere. Nancy will meet her Waterloo. Oh, wow. we meet her Waterloo soon. She's not she's not mannered at all. She, I have said before, she's, she, she can be very, she can be very careless in the way she speaks. My opinion, as always, just my opinion. It's only a non-ambitious, low self-esteem woman who think that they can't find the next man will go back to man like justin well i don't think we're saying we're talking about going back or whatever when i spoke about it, i said cora is not the kind of person that will want to be single she will that's why i was talking about the so-called mike joseph that saying that i said cora uh, um wants to be single that's not what i said i said cora is not the kind of man that would like to be single but what i'm saying is that i feel like they were in some ways she and justin were a match in some ways right so let me read that comment again. It's only a, a, a non-ambitious, low self-esteem woman who think that they can't find a nest man. And I also said it. Because a marriage gender doesn't mean a woman must marry. A woman can choose to be single. It's a choice. Somebody can actually be single and be happy ever after. Um, that they, the, um, that think they can't find a next man will go back to a man like Justin. After Justin suck and... Uh, oh my goodness. I can't read your comment out. Oh, please, me they know. Uh, there are too many kini. But if you say Justin whatever and whatever uh okay after i can't say the word okay let me after justin s and f and chorus p and gave him two kids and then came out to disgrace and talk about cora p who would have gone back to him okay i tried to read your i'm trying not to i'll abandon your comment but i have to skip some of the words you put there because it's not um okay and you are in nigeria oh replying to somebody else okay uh i, I can see just in uh let me skip that uh she said that was why she had to open different account uh but what i'm keep saying is that i am not a fan of joint account i said it is not for me right but at the same time i'm saying if she was in America for three years, no job, four years, no job, somebody was feeding and caring for her all that time. 
So for her to even be talking about account is only when she started, according to her sister, she only started making money last year because Facebook was not monetized platform before. So it's only that time she started making money that she now thought about creating an account. That, so that means that man opened an joint account when Cora had no job. And he was allowing her to have free access to the joint account, which is only money. I'm going by what they have said, though. She had no job for the first three years or four years she was in that country. And Justin, and Justin was putting, creating a joint account, allowing her free access. If I go by that, that's what it means. So when she started making money, she didn't want joint account anymore. Abi, if I'm wrong, correct me. She did not work for three years when she was in that country. So the joint account, the only money we go enter there is the money that made by the one person that was working. So it was when she now started working, she was no longer interested in joint account. Chidi, now your comment I read with Chidi, Tonya, uh, Adigwe, Adigwe. Okay, this one says, um, Nancy will may finally finish Cora's marriage while she's enjoying hers. That is from UK and Ireland chapter. That's the name of the person. Um, okay, uh, they haven't come out. Okay. They haven't come out because they are not into social media. They are not into social media. Did Cora know? Uh, uh, they mean the Justice family are not on social media. They are not also into social media. Cor, uh, um, um, uh, Nancy said that she was not into Facebook. She came to Facebook to come and make money. Did Nancy not say that? They could have come to. Do you know that if Nancy's mother, Cora, Justice's mother decided to come and open Facebook account to come and tell her side of the story? No, no, say she will get views. We do you know that she can make money like uh, like uh, like uh, like Nancy? If Nancy's family members should come out and say, "Let's come and create an account and tap into this drama," like Nancy did, she said, "Yeah, I was not on Facebook. Oh, my sister told me that Facebook is where the money is. I'm here to make money." She didn't hide it. If they could have decided to do the same. Uh, come on, Summer. Jo Justin's behavior is totally banged out of order. Did I not say that? I said that from the beginning. I said you shouldn't have brought that drama on social media. You shouldn't have come out and started doing this smear campaign. I said that. So if you're joining late, make sure you watch later before you accuse me of anything. He came to social media to... Uh, did I not say that? Maybe you came later. You didn't watch the beginning. Uh, he, came out, he came to social media to announce that his wife is, is cheat, even describing her private part. That man is... Did I not say that? That man is a disappointment. I said that already. Um, he might be yours, but... Look, <clears throat> He might be yours, but not mine. You are okay. That's somebody replying to somebody else. Okay, that's people replying to each other. Uh, this one says, Who is horror? I don't know whether he's in there replying to each other, but are divorced already. Why is he talking about talk, talking after money? Um, monitor her process and show her income. Cora, the day before, Cora came out to still talk about. Um, him and said i gave him twenty thousand in uh, uh, what did she say about him she talked about him few days a day or few days before and he came out to show them that she's making a lot of money so you see that's the thing when cora talk about him you know the forget that is it because he's a man if it was woman to woman every time cora talk he would come and the other person will come and reply when they don't want to talk, the other come and reply but the thing is that people are comfortable for cora to speak because she's a woman but when a man speaks he's expected to shut up Let's be honest. So a, a day before, Cora was talking about Airbnb, and they said she got. She said she got bad review. She said the man was smiling with her, and at the end of the day, the man went and gave her bad review. You see, this is white people and their fakeness. You see, did you not see what happened in my divorce? Cora spoke about him, and what did he do? He came out to speak. So everybody came out. I, I made the post. I said, make everybody talk. Mok we here. Make the update us. Keep up the updating us. Okay, uh, uh, income and uh, progress. Why does what? Why does what to gain by bashing her again? Where is the bash actually in that video? He was basically come and he came out to tell you guys how much she spent. I think he directly wanted you guys to know how much she spent on her. I think that's what he basically wanted to do. And I didn't see the bashing in that. Please, if I'm wrong, correct me. What did he say that was bashing? Correct me, I'll read your comment because like this, let's be honest. Let's what exactly? He said he met her, he fell in love. The first night they went out, they drank. He didn't touch her that first night. And the following day, they were never separate. Uh, they were inseparate. I'll go bite my tongue. Inseparable after that, that he's not going to lie, he was in love. And then he, went, he, he left his penthouse in China and went to Guinea and was living in a hostel just to help pursue her dream. And Cora has said that this guy helped her to achieve her dream. He, he supported her in every way. Cora has said the same thing. So he basically, we said he wanted to share his side of the story. So where is the bashing in saying that he left the penthouse to come and be staying in a hostel because he didn't know anybody in America? 
they didn't know anybody in America, um, sorry, in, in LA because of her. And he, he, she chose LA. He was thinking of New York. She said she, she chose LA and he went to LA because of Cora. Because Cora said, uh, um, and that makes sense. Because Cora doesn't want New York because she doesn't want to deal with the cold. Because you know, if Cora went to New York, she cannot be dressing the way she dresses because it too, 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 the cold would be too much for her kind of dressing. So he, when he said that, there was uh, even if you doubt that he lies sometimes, you can say, okay, that makes sense because New York will not suit Cora's dressing. He talked about how he was the one stayed and until he was able to uh, acquire her visa and everything. So where was the bashing in this video? Please tell me, did I read your name? Uh, Lisbeth uh, Bola Rinwa Thomas. So tell, what was the bashing in this video? Uh, okay uh only only what what okay okay only on showing her income only what does want to gain oh my goodness want to gain i keep a notification uh sorry, sorry, sorry. let me finish your comment i need to fly today he brought this saga out and tried to and tried containing the trash he brought out i think you came late you already discussed all that i already said that if she's doing what he has done online Will he survive? Uh, well, she has ended up doing what she has. Also, she she ended up joining him. Initially, she wasn't talking, but she has also done the same thing. She has done a lot too. Don't forget, though, don't forget that she told her her, her people. She told her people to go and attack his uh, business online. Let's not forget, though. Uh, hey, Justin brought it up. We're gonna say that, but Cora also eventually began to, you know, um, what is that? I didn't even see that comment. Nancy Ume is right about the dirty. The dirty mind family members. I can't see. You lie. Mother D never said that. Bring the receipt. Okay, those are people. Hey. Uh, that's her new name. Okay, let me. Okay. Who is. Who is. Oh, oh, crow. Hey. Oh, people replying each other. Someone, I will inbox you the video where Lolo admitted showing. Showing the recent the recent video of the children to her subscriber fans out of appreciation for the money they raised for um okay show me the video that would be nice but like I said the court said they shouldn't show the children in their they shouldn't the children should not be on their videos anymore that is what they, they, if Cora I said it already if Cora sent the video to say you can say what I want to say if Cora sent the video to a friend and the friend does whatever it's not what the court spoke about the children are not supposed to be featured on their youtube channel youtube facebook platforms anymore i remember that video but i think it was an interview um just ask for divorce and cora gave him the divorce so what's just in problem um the dean's got dragged the the mod for no reason that is not those people culture to make confrontation is that that's it you just be honest though that's family i'm telling you guys i always have i've always said i have respect for them for staying quiet till today because ah hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm. Okay, let me fly. Cora did small, small hustle even when pregnant with June for chips. Okay, she was um she was not wife material. Period. June Martin said, "Look at how verbally abusive she is online with her so called to her with her so called lovers." In quote, insulting all all who try to give her con constructive criticism, calling them goats and putting spells on them and their generations. Seems to me Justin was the abused. Uh, was the uh, abused, not the abuser, uh, in the in, in that failed marriage? Okay, let me say this. I'm going to say that I I do not see Cora like someone that can be bullied. Don't forget, I say I do not see. So I'm not saying. Uh, but when I look at Cora and the way she carries herself, and the way Nancy carries herself, is like they are gra gra people right and i don't see Cora like somebody a man can put in an armpit maybe when she newly come when her leg like she's new in the country she's like oh you know the way you're new in the country you're just trying to find your footing whatever but after she got her papers and whatever she, she needed to have the stay in america i feel like even if she was tiptoeing because ah, god oh, i don't want to ruin my chances of staying here for example i'm just giving an example that's the only thing i make somebody like that Cora is not for justin to say she was he was afraid of his head being bashed in while he's sleeping it shows you that he was afraid of Cora. So, Justin, I think he's good with mouth. But I don't think he has enough courage. That is why Nancy was able to be telling him, basically controlling him in a way. I'm telling you, see, Cora, Justin, he, he get mouth. But his actions no match his mouth. He, the guy get mouth. You understand? So, so but anyways, um, uh, okay, let me fly so I cannot... 
if she can work on dressing sha uh, morenike is saying if she can work on dressing sha his, his follower will tell you there's nothing wrong with Kora's dressing that's what they will tell you let him talk about it if it will make him heal oh i'm scared for him seriously he sounded depressed let him speak that's chidi saying that me i said let him speak Cora has been speaking she know they keep quiet once in a while she she always once in a while she sees the reason to bring him up again so let him speak and Cora has said that speaking to you guys is his therapy let justin speak too don't gag him that's how me i feel at this point uh -huh. um Cora is for the street. Love it, swords. Eh? Cora is for the street, and that is is fact. She is not a wife material. It is not all about dressing. I wear bikini too and transparent clothes during summer holidays. Uh, her behavior too. She is. I have to put my voice down. She is. She is for the street. So it is better for her to be single. Men will be really scared of being committed to her after, after her very very messy divorce and how she handles it. She is good for chop and go. Hey except the chop and go for those that don't have pigeon is like it's just like hit and hit and run if that makes sense it's like just be with her and leave her right i'm just trying to translate for those that may not understand chop and go uh, except she changes her character uh okay uh okay those are people replying each other people replying each other they are coming with no no sense i don't know who that is replying to the cora put a knife in his head to bring her to america to live in poverty until god deliver you see you see it's not about put bring him and bring and bring her in poverty couples can start from scratch and build together it's not a new thing. So there's nothing wrong with the man bringing his wife from, uh, and he say, I'm in love, bring his wife, let's come here and let's come and make something with our lives. Let's build a life together. There's nothing wrong with that. So I don't understand. Look, until God delivered Cora from him. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Did, did Cora put knife in his head to bring her to America? Okay. But did, did none, did, did Justin put knife on her head to bring her to America, to bring her into poverty? If that's what your own interpretation is. Huh? So Cora said it herself that when she came to America, this is the thing. She said he spoiled him. She, you know, he spoiled her until he went broke. That is big. She sp he spent so much on her until he went broke. That is big. But Cora, according to Nancy, when Cora started making money, they told her to invest her money. They told her family jumped in to come and tell her what to do with her money. Where was her family when she... She, she, she was she was living in poverty as you are calling it to according to you she was living in poverty that justin was putting her in poverty why did her family not come and rescue her why was it when she started making money they now knew they would come and tell her where to invest her money let's be honest uh, Oh, I'm so behind. People are saying bye to Mike. I'm like, <laughs> sorry. Okay, let me fly through your comment. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. I think Nancy was trying to clear her family name, but overdid it, my opinion. She went way overboard. Oh, my goodness. Let me fly through this comment. You don't disgrace your wife to this. Already, we've already been through that and expect um, her to happy and forgive such be. Where have you gone through all of that? Um as far as i see nancy did not oh my goodness that is long when the news broke nancy made an announcement on her story that things were being settled uh, i don't even eh, even nancy being the one making a post nobody knew nancy she didn't even need to even talk about the announcement to be honest with you guys personally she should have left it to the couple nobody knew her she threw herself into it let's be honest because when she gave us and i was who is nancy who is nancy she brought herself and i think she wanted to come into it Nancy made an announcement on her story that things were being... Nobody knew her then, though. She didn't need to. Uh, the next day on her story, she said things were being settled. That same day was when uh, uh, Justin Dean came out and started the name calling and describing wife's Nash. Also, he reached out to bloggers on IG at the... Excuse me, at the time with evidence of her cheating and quote, uh, in quote, uh, from the text messages, I believe that was also when they pleaded with him, with him, the uh, uh, JD, which Justin Dean applied more pressure online saying he never wanted to go back. Marriage was wrecked already, probably from beginning, from the beginning, he, the, her poten potentials and probability of making money probably kept him there. The ex was... The ex, as in the bedroom action, right, was probably also good. 
Okay. Uh, Justin came out to describe uh, VJJ on social media who does that. I already condemned all of that. I said that was not right because I wouldn't like somebody to do that to my my father to do that to my mother. I said even if you don't respect the mother, of, you don't respect the mother of your child, at least out of respect for your children, there are some things you should not do. Okay. Justin, her mother has a Facebook account. I never said she doesn't. I don't know if she does, but she has not come out to come and drag anybody. Um... Okay, F Facebook wasn't monetized, Abby. What about a music video on YouTube? Da -da -da -da, YouTube. Uh, also, uh, okay, I'm going to flash you to comment. The money may not be big, but it was pain. What is the motive of showing her earnings so that people will, people will not help her? Uh, Summer Olympics, uh, Olympics ended and his contract probably ended. I don't believe he moved and left his thank you job for her. Let us look at this. Um, I, I never even said he left the whatever for her. But we can discuss that. It can be another topic for another day. But okay, let me see. I don't believe moved to the Let us look at this thing. Blah, blah, blah. And they are probably thinking of next move. He, I want to make sure I go through all your comments. He loves celebrity clients. And she wants to be celebrity goal matches and LA, LA it was. It, it, there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with couples goals matching, to be honest with you. That's what makes the marriage work. But I think when it comes to money, they don't match. You know, I, I don't think that both of them are not equal. When it comes to generosity, I don't believe they are equals um, in the way they handle money. Just in people's started first. They go to sabotage Cora's show. Justin was tra trading with um, trading with the girls with the blogger in the UK. I think both oh sorry, I'm not reading your names. I'm reading I'm just flying through the comments a lot. I think they both need to talk things over. Justin is down mentally. I pray nothing happens to him. I don't want those kids to lose any parents. Um they can be separated but let there be peace with uh, between be, between both parents. The family is not quiet. The mother of Justin was very active in the group um of the women trying to hurry Kira. I don't know what that means. Uh, what Justin was married before he met Kira. I think you meant Sekora. What happened to the first marriage? I don't know. Um, Justin was the people have divorced before, married again, and they live happily ever after. It happens. I don't know. Justin was then contracting bloggers to destroy Cora. Uh, if Cora was your sister, would you allow Justin to? Are you listening, Joy or, or, or Taros? Where did I say? Okay, I already spoke about Justin actions. This mayor campaign, and I said it's wrong. So I said, but when you tell me where Justin is wrong, don't also be hesitant to speak when Cora is also wrong. But Sela Cora, you Sela Cora and their ugly father are dragging Justin. Ugly, or oh, maybe say ugly, put H there. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, I flew through the comments because I'm I didn't need to end, end this. Anyways, I think the main thing I wanted to discuss in this video, I think we've done that. And thank you for joining me is to show you guys your marriage your life is yours it's yours to ma to manage to protect to your life and everything to cherish and do whatever you need to do about it because basically what i've shown you here is don't forget that the main thing i discussed is how nancy he should have just left she sorry, sorry he should have Mm, Elizabeth said he should have just done everything quietly without involving the bloggers dishing out uh, her personal information. He was hungry for uh, for the money he would make, and his evil plans backfired. And not no, at the beginning he wasn't even making money. He was just giving it to bloggers. He was not making money there. But I think he was angry, and he came out and he was lashing out and wanted to destroy on the way out. From what he has spoken, what I have come to feel from what Justin has said a lot is that they came in like as a couple. And they, the plan was to build as a couple. And he feels like he was the one funding Cora. And as soon as Cora started making money, Cora was not sharing. That's what I sense from what he's saying. And I believe from what I have come to, that money broke up their marriage. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say it again from what I have seen and what Cora have said. Justin was generous with his money. He was the one that sponsored everything to bring her abroad. He was the one footing all the bills while Cora was waiting to make it. He was the one that, she said it, that paid for his for first music video. That was a man that was, from that, that was a man that was willing to build with his wife. And she said that when he came, she came to LA, Justin spoiled her until he went broke with his money. It means the guy was generous. He paid for her music video. The guy was generous. But the question is, is the generosity on both sides or was it only one-sided? 
you understand so basically bottom line i'm going to end this video now if you're coming don't just comment make sure you watch the and hear what i said if you come and curse me once you curse me block me if you pull red head block me because i will block you if you don't watch my video you didn't come and say what i did not say me and you go get a problem so make sure you don't say what i did not say in this video because everything i've said watch it from the beginning and make sure you hear me right Cora should be happy Justin took took from the village. You know, it was China. I never said he's a saint. No. He okay. These are people that are, that came last. So you can you can watch and, and um, because you're saying things already gone past. Okay. So nonsense topic. Okay. Let's say goodbye to somebody that said we're discussing nonsense topic. Um, where is my block button? The game. Blocked fast. Goodbye. Now, I know they do. I know they do all those nonsense. You know, this is not a uh, kini. So, uh, basically, so uh, basically, let's not even forget how we started. We're talking about how Nancy said that um, cursing each other, I mean, um, name calling should never be in a marriage. And she doesn't do it in her marriage. And they mistakenly did it in their marriage. They went to have a dinner to settle it. But that thing that is a taboo in Nancy's marriage, she did it in her sister's marriage. The question again people should actually ask Nancy is if or people should ponder on is this husband and wife should not insult each other. Can you actually extend it to your in-laws? Can you insult your in-laws? Because she insulted uh, her sister's uh, uh, in-laws and her, is her in-laws as well. So at the, at the end of the day, it shows that what Nancy applies in her marriage, she didn't apply it into her sister's marriage right at the same time we actually dived into when she talked about when they make money she and her husband they decide what they do the money they plan together but the same nancy told us that when cora started making money they her family nancy cora's family told nancy uh, cora what to do with her money why didn't they leave cora and her husband to decide what they would do with their money why did they you see what i'm trying to say so the message there for you and i is this always when you look at people uh, uh, advice or whatever where advice or whatever not every advice people are giving that they apply not every um what people apply to your life is what they're applying to their own everybody's protecting their own head it is left for you to protect your own head and one of our sisters shared here how she and her husband broke up her sister was against her husband again for four years they were separated when they now came back together when they planned to come back together the sister said lie lie over her dead body but the lady that left the comment our sister here that left comment said she eventually decided to marry her husband back marry her husband back 20 years later they are still together she didn't follow her sister's advice so bottom line the message is this your life is yours when you die today they don't go dig ground to put your sister follow you your brother follow you you came is an individual life People can advise you. It's left for you to choose what you take on your leave or you leave out of it. If you're just joining us and you don't know what we're talking about, please make sure you watch from the beginning. I think we've done about one hour, if not more. I wasn't thinking I'm going to do this much. It's already past one. Thank you for watching and thank you for everybody that has been matured about this conversation and have shared their opinions and, you know, uh, matured about it. And for if you're a troublemaker, you're the whatever type, don't bother. Because the minute you comment, I block. I know they waste time. I don't... Mm -mm you know <laughs> thank you elizabeth i wish both parties the best as they should move on and co-parent in peace uh, is an individual race well articulated thank you so much temila day somebody said we love cora like that another person said we love justin like that <laughs> go, go help all of now. i think i will say goodbye now thank you guys before i go can i just collect my likes my love heart and my likes can i collect them and they're not pay me on a free of charge are they are they dish advice so mm -hmm. so the only thing my own payment is just give me likes and loves L love heart and uh, what's it called now thank you i see one there now oh yeah, yeah. don't put red head though put red head i block you or you put red head block me because i will block you don't play with my video because i as somebody has finished in my mouth that i'm using to talk and not everybody will take my advice and other people's advice you know thank you so much crystal you know Thank you, Temila Day. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Who else? Uh, Joy Osas. Thank you all for watching. Oh, my back. The way I'm sitting on my bed is.
last last everybody will be okay amen no especially the children because they are the innocent ones in the whole thing you know thank you for watching i better go now guys thank you for watching till next time i hardly have time but i'm going to try once in a while to come live i like the interaction to be honest with you guys but i know they get time and today if i said let me get up and dress up and get ready i may end up not doing it i just let me just do it before i start my day um as always i always say people take the lessons out of it and leave it Justin does not want Cora back. He's moved on. Well, in his vi latest video, they asked him and he said no. He said, why would I want somebody back that has, um, that has maybe called me names, that has done this and said this and said this about me. That's what I was saying about. But he too, too, is the same thing. You have said a lot of things about her. That's what I was talking about. This name calling of a thing, you know. So it works both ways anyways. But I personally do not think. I don't personally do not think he wants Cora back. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. But the only person that has come out and spoke in a way that I made me think I maybe was Cora when she was I said, This is what they met. This is what I was wearing the first day we met. And she was saying, Papa June, are you watching? That was what me I would say, ah, be like say this lady want the guy back home. But the guy has never shown I don't know anybody's heart, but he has never shown the still grag -gra in his body. You know what I mean? So I don't think he's still happy. I hope they both find healing. I hope so too. Okay, guys, I better go now. Thank you all for watching. If you're coming late, watch the whole video. Make sure you know what we're talking about before you, you leave your comment. I'm gonna go now. Thanks uh, for coming. Until next time, guys. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye.